cup though you have to tell them about the cup because i don't know that's it it's sunday and we're here right on time it looks like it's with the intro and everything it's uh pretty much right on time yeah yeah and it wasn't planned it was just uh dumb luck as they say in the hood what's up players yeah let me know if you guys are seeing us let's say we got frank perutz in the chat we got king luffy we got tom tanaka tom ernst okay so people are already in so at least we know that much now if they can see us Poseidon, that's another part of the battle. Who knows? So, Poseidon, what do you want to start with? So, the, in St. Louis, there was uh, these two cops. Okay, that's you're fucking going right in, very rapey, like right away, straight into it. Um, and uh, well, that's that's why I'm, bro. I'm you aggressive. just read it right now. Yeah, and uh, this will give everybody a chance to get in while Poseidon's still fucking yapping. Go ahead. What? 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 Give oh. us the fucking story. And they were playing with guns. They were playing like a Russian roulette type style game. And the other cop shot the other cop, and one and one of them is being charged for manslaughter. Did he? <coughs> so the guy died. I I don't know. It was rushed to the hospital, but there's nothing after that. Okay. Well, manslaughter, so he must be dead. Yeah. yeah. Well, the girl must be dead. He killed a female cop. Yeah. Wait. So he gave her the gun, and she shot herself. It's Russian no, roulette. No, no, no. Why is he in trouble? It was a Russian roulette style, so like they were shooting each other. Apparently, that's not a style of Russian roulette that I. Uh, that that's what it said. That's what it said. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna read it. Re- read us the article, Poseidon, because mm-hmm. I have no clue what the fuck you're talking about hold right on, now. Hold on, hold on. Hold well, Poseidon reads us this article. I want you all at home to realize that uh, it's very difficult dealing with this man. All right, you don't know the kind of things that were said <laughs> in the past hour setting up for this. <laughs> the kind of dumb. Th- he was talking about Cardi B at one point and uh, State of the Union rebuttal, and then he's like, "Yo, what's a uh, what's a Cardi B State of the Union rebuttal?" And no, I didn't say like, that. What I did you say? I said, what is the State of the Union? What is that? No, actually, you said, what is the State of the Union rebuttal? Is what you said. Yeah. Those are your exact words. Yeah. Which is, it's, I don't know what's blocking you. Is it the rebuttal? Is that word the one that's complicated? Is it State of the no, Union? No, I don't know what State of the Union... I you don't know, know what, what a State of the Union is? No. You don't know what Andrew Dice Clay is? Uh, the State of the Union is, the president gives those normally. Uh-huh. And he addresses the people. Okay. His people, the American people. Okay. And let's know what's the state of things. Like, okay. this is what's happening. Okay. This is what we need to do. This is, It's very important. And now they're kind of... Uh, and well, why, why would Cardi B be giving... Because uh, Cardi B was talking shit about Trump when he did the government shut down. And she said that he's only doing it because he's a racist and stuff like that. So then Stephen Colbert said, oh, why don't we... Because he's a fucking retard, too. He's like, why don't we get Cardi B to talk about politics? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody... You know, because uh, ass-eating isn't enough of a topic <laughs> for her to talk about. Now... <laughs> Let's get her on immigration. <laughs> she knows a thing or two about immigration. One of the dumbest people is on the he, planet. I don't think she's dumb. It's just well, that, you know. Well, you, she is where she is for with. I don't. I don't think she's. I don't think it makes. But it's just you know certain topics and you don't know others. Mm. I don't think uh, Madame Eat the Booty is the right person to be. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Uh, how's the podcast with Sugar Sammy? I only watched the shot and it was hilarious. Yeah, the I'm getting some good feedback from uh, the general the podcast episode. Uh, Fred, uh, they liked it. They learned a lot. We talked a bit about the joke thieves. We talked a bit about um, what's happening in France and how there's a lot of good comics, but they get overshadowed by the fact there's a lot of thieves. Uh, we talked a bit about Gad. Let's see, it's the wrong cause. The winner shouldn't be charged with manslaughter, right? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. So man, so if 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 it's, I'm just saying if it's. I can't find it now, though. It's weird. Yeah, they took it down. They realized, like, none of this makes any sense. <laughs> like, I, I'm on Twitter. Like, look, it's nowhere. It was, like, at the top here with these ones. Yeah, yeah I believe you. Uh, I don't think you would make that much up. Uh, it's too It's too complicated. It's too it's complex too for, you. for you to make up. <laughs> but, yeah, the manslaughter thing doesn't make sense to me. Because if it's Russian roulette, then she killed herself. It's suicide. You can't say, oh, you gave her the bullet. That's stupid. And if it's Russian roulette style where you point a gun and shoot at people, I don't think that's Russian roulette. That's more like... Kaz- th- Kazakhstan roulette. That's a really dumb roulette. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I think happened? I think she was too much of a yappy bitch. It's, that's Mongolian blackjack. Yeah. That's what we're going to call it. <laughs> Mongolian. Mongolian blackjack is what they were playing. Like, you all play Mongolian blackjack? <laughs> okay. He just starts shooting at her. <laughs> Dude, you just killed her. You no, no. We were playing a game. <laughs> we were playing a game, bro. <laughs> I think that's what happened. She was too much of a yappy bitch, you know? Yeah. And like he was just looking for a reason to kill her. Pro- oh, by the way, I'm noticing that the, the days are getting a little longer. A little. Normally we record this at 4 p.m. and it's a bit darker. The sun's shining in right now. So that's good. That's a plus. I love it. I can wear my shades again for longer periods of time. Uh, Tom Tanaka, that special from Copy Comic is coming out tomorrow apparently. So wait on that. It's more likely they killed her and made a story. Yeah, for, for at least start. Yeah, they probably killed her. Yeah. And then they're like, how do we explain this one, boys? <laughs> <And> they, they <laughs> one guy's like, well, t- tell him we thought she was a zombie. 
damn it, Steve, no, we're not. <laughs> we're not going with that plan. <laughs> Anything else? What about Russian roulette? Fucking genius, bro. <laughs> Everybody plays Russian roulette. They know that. It's it's uh, a <clears throat> let's see Mongolian Mongolian blackjack. I'd have played when I was uh, when I was married. Tom, why was your wife a bitch? It's funny that you bring that up, Tom, because I was playing hockey. Uh, I play hockey on Saturdays, and uh, Poseidon for king of the retards, twenty twenty. <laughs> you mean the emperor? <laughs> um, yeah. So Tom, I was playing hockey. I play hockey on Saturdays, and I heard uh, a lot of people complaining about like their wives and like certain like toxic marriage relationships that they're in marriages that they're in and i was like fuck well, like one of the guys was locked out of his, his, his he had to get his clothes and he's like i couldn't get all my stuff guys because uh, my wife locked me out of the house uh, she locked me out of the room you know she wanted to do stuff in there uh, so i was locked out i was like how do you you got locked out of the your own fucking room in your house you're an adult they locked you out said no you're not allowed to go in there you know so i hear shit like that tom and uh, i don't know i don't know if it's just people change when they get married and they become cocksuckers or it's just some people they're like uh, they'll be better when they get married. The, the, you know, she won't be such a bitch or he won't be such an asshole. You know, when we're married, yeah. and they just accept a uh, piece of garbage. Uh, it's hard. Uh, don't ask real name on here. Oh, okay, that's why Tom. <laughs> well, I'm gonna assume Tom, in the way you um, brought the Mongolian blackjack idea in, that uh, she wasn't that pleasant. <laughs> well, we'll stick to that. That she wasn't a pleasant lady. Honestly, Marvin, how you doing? I would have kicked the door down. In your own house. See, that's yeah. a toxic house, too. You're breaking doors yeah. down. You're yelling. It's uh, There's no winning. I know. What do you do? In that I would never get into that situation. Yeah. Like, yeah. Her stuff would be out in the lawn long before that would happen. <laughs> I sense that kind of stuff. Like, I'm going to lock him out of his own house. Well. well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bitch. <laughs> Jersey girl. Oh, really? Are Jersey girls... Uh, me, I'm a New Jersey Devils fan. I like um, people from New Jersey. I kind of like them. Are Jersey girls that crazy? Because the only Jersey girl I remember is the one that Ben Affleck had in that movie. And uh, the movie? movie was shit. The movie was called Jersey Girl, Poseidon. Oh, okay. Uh, the movie <laughs> was called Jersey Girl. It's like, what movie, bro? <laughs> that Jersey Girl movie, what movie was it? <laughs> so there's that. Uh, Poseidon, yeah. we, we, you know that I'm not going to avoid talking about one thing. Resident Evil 2. Oh, shit. we got to talk about this game, guys. All right. You uh, love it. I do because remember how we were talking about how I bought all these games and I never played them because I have no time? I made time um, Friday night and uh, Saturday night, yesterday night, basically for the game. I beat, uh, I beat like the first part of the game. So much fun. Dudes, like if you're going to play a fucking game and you're going to kill some zombies and shit, this is the game you're going to be playing to kill zombies. I'm going to buy it, but I want to buy the physical copy. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Like it's on a disc? <laughs> <laughs> With the, with the, with the someone Bro, he's like, show your dick. It's not you, Poseidon. You. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't want to see your dick, just in case. But yeah, um, the Resident Evil game. God damn, dude. That was a fucking well-made well made game. But I'll, I'll tell you why I bring it up. Because again, remember a few weeks ago, we talked about uh, IGN being like a piece of garbage news, I guess, video game news outlet. I don't know what we're going to call it. Review we site. We talked about IGN? When yeah, we talked about IGN with the Onimusha thing. Oh, Where, yes, yeah, yes. So it's not a... Okay. So they did the same thing with Resident Evil. So they gave it an 8.8, .8, which is a good score. And then the guy complained about how, well, when you beat the game with one character and then you start with the next character, it's pretty much the same thing. You're going through the same puzzles. You're seeing the same stuff. You're not seeing anything different. The reason was because either he didn't beat the game or he didn't... Because when you beat the game, it gives you a new option where you play from the other character's point of view, but it's a completely different thing. So you see different things. It's different puzzles, different stories. Interesting. So what he said was missing was really in the game. You know? What a so again, idiot. people came out. Konami's like, ah, oh, um, Capcom came out like, ah, oh, this motherfucker. And then you know how they made up for it? He's like, all right, well now, uh, it's a, it's a nine. It's a nine out of ten. So they just changed the score. <laughs> but if the game is twice as good, sh shouldn't that have been like a sixteen or something on ten? Like uh, these are some weird numbers. It doesn't make sense. I fucked up, so your game is better. That is a little it's strange. Fucking yeah. bullshit. The fucking liars, bro. It doesn't matter what part of the media you're in. It's all fucking garbage. It's all, all cunts, yeah. All cunts. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I want to talk about Red Dead Redemption too. I don't, but all right, I'll let you because I know a lot of the the people in the chat play that game. So I started playing it, but then I uh, I haven't played, I haven't touched video games actually in like two weeks. Okay. Because I'm always working. And uh, man, but fuck Red Dead Redemption too, bro. It feels it feels like a part time job. 
It feels like once you pick it up, you got to play for like eight hours straight. You can't just, you know what I mean? Hmm. You can't just, it doesn't feel like that a bit. You got to, like all your attention has to go like there. Yeah, but that's like, it's like that with everything. Let's see. Uh, my mouth is 24-7 on call car wash for Mila Jovovich's what? undercarriage. Oh, he's talking about, um, well, Jovovich, that was in the movie. The Resident. By the way, speaking of that, they're making a Resident Evil show for Netflix, apparently. Really? Yeah, but it could go one of two ways. Because remember The Walking Dead? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Like The Walking Dead type of thing. But The Walking Dead, after a while, also became boring, no? Well, look, the season now, like at some point it just became very repetitive. But now where they're at, what season is it? Eight? Nine? Just like season eight, like a lot of shit happened where you're like, oh, fuck. Like at some point in season eight. And Marvin, it's pronounced rapiste. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Uh, there was a... Should I say it or no? In what? In, uh, in season eight towards the end. Walking Dead? Yeah. You you watched all eight seasons of that fucking shit yeah, show? Yeah. I saw one season. And you got fed up. I was like, all right, I see what's happening. This whole show is going to be, let's get from this place to this place. And then once we're at that place, yo, fuck this place. Let's go to that place. No, but now I, I've noticed in, in the later seasons, like for, for a lot of the seasons, that's what it is. But now it's gotten a little more complex than that, in the especially in season eight. Like at some point there was a, there was a there was a helicopter, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And it's a little crazy, anyways. All right, that went nowhere. <laughs> that went nowhere. I apologize for that. <laughs> uh, I don't know why he does these things. I honestly, I don't know. I don't know where he gets it from. I don't know why he does these things. Um, I'm upset, and I see right now in the chat you guys are talking about IGN review <laughs> giving shitty reviews because of water. I like that. Because of water? Yeah, Zelda, apparently. They gave it a, like a shitty review because there was too much water. What? Yeah. Well, okay, that means that means that Assassin's Creed Odyssey should have gotten like a four. It should have gotten a three, bro. <laughs> that was the one where they were pirates? No, uh, in Greece. Oh, oh, yeah, because it's just islands. It's yeah, stupid. bro. It's stupid. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. That's what I'm saying is fucking I like they they're not uh, it's kinda like a lot of these movie review there's sites. Too much water. Yeah, there's too much I water. Can't, bro. But a lot of these movies like you if you actually read it, because normally you just get the scores, right? Even for movies, you're like, oh, it's the rated fucking, I don't know, on Rotten Tomatoes. But if you look at some of the stuff people write, somebody's like, wait a second, that doesn't why is that lowering the score? Like, uh, so that Cinderella movie would have been great if it had Harvey Keitel in it. No Harvey Keitel, no score. It's like, what do you care who the actor is in? Like, judge the movie, the, the, the movie that fucking exists. Or like shit, like they'll say like uh, about zombie movies, like too many zombies. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> too many zombies. Uh, zombies are too fast. Yeah, you've dealt with a lot of zombies in your time, you <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> what about Sea of Thieves? Yeah, too much water. Poseidon, too Greek, 9.2. <laughs> you see that? You see Marvin, though? He still gets a 9.2. They give him a high score because they're nervous. Like when they did Capcom, they're like, no, no, we'll just put the score up. And, and apparently they did it once. Uh, I, I was reading up this morning just so I could talk about it. Apparently, IGN once. <laughs> this is actually hilarious. They reviewed a game, an Uncharted game. Remember Uncharted 4 came out? Yeah. And they reviewed it, and the reviewers like, I, I'm normally a big Uncharted fan, but this feels old. It feels like the controls are... It feels like I was playing a game from like 10 years ago, and the game they played to review Uncharted 4, they played the Uncharted 2 remaster. <laughs> like, the guy didn't know what the fuck... Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Well, I think it was a woman, yeah. She didn't know what the fuck she was doing. She's like, I'm a big, I'm a big Uncharted fan. Yeah. But this feels dated. Fuck <laughs> 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 it. <laughs> like a game what, of a what a dumb bitch. Bro. <laughs> and then you want to take him seriously. You know yeah. what I'm excited for? That samurai game uh, that's sitting. It's set in. Uh, ooh, what's it called? I know, I know, Toshido or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it yeah. looks kind of cool. Bro, I, I love, I love like feudal Japan shit. Yeah. Like, like Neo. Anywhere where you can go and you take a bride. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you could take him. Besides that home. As long as you could take him, I'm a taker. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 that's besides crash sound. <laughs> That's a specific. It's very violent <laughs> and abrupt. I love it. Like me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, but like Neo, you remember Neo? Yeah. Did you beat it? You never beat it, eh? Uh, no, I never beat Neo. I got pretty far because of you. You helped me out. Yeah. But uh, th I like games like that where you could go online and your buddy could just come in your game and help you out. Yeah. Dark Souls 3. I love Dark Souls 3. Yeah, I Marvin, you're right, bro. You can't leave him in charge. <laughs> <laughs> Who me? No, he's like if you put broads in charge of stuff. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's never. what happens with IGN. He's talking. Oh about. yeah, of course, bro. This game feels dated. She's playing <laughs> Super Mario, the fucking first one on <laughs> Nintendo, and I can't believe I had to switch consoles for it. What a weird PlayStation game. It's like, ugh. 
I, I shared a video, by the way, guys, on Twitter if you want to watch it. Um, I don't know who made it, by the way. It's not like a promotional thing. It's just somebody made that video about um, fi- a diversity firing. Uh, and it's basically a guy at work complaining to his boss, like, uh, that guy in the chat asked for a monkey wrench. He's like, okay, he needs a monkey wrench. What? That's, you know, that's totally insensitive. We have a lot of Africans that work here. Uh, he can't say the word monkey. And he's like, oh, Jesus Christ. So he, he ends up firing everyone, basically, and himself. Uh, it's this whole thing about how it's going too far. It was kind of funny. If you guys want to check out the tweets, I think I put it on my um, Facebook page, too. Yeah, I'm going to go check yeah, it out. If you go check, it's a funny little video that they made. Let's see. Sounds like punching through an ice-covered car window to get a hooker. It does. It sounds like <laughs> it sounds like it's breaking from the inside. <laughs> it like he's breaking. It's not a car crash. Him is just fucking crashes through the window and grabs that Tim Hortons cup. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, violent! <laughs> <laughs> that laugh always gets me. You like that? Laugh? Yeah. Fucking with what's his name? Seth, Seth Rogen. Rogen yeah. yeah. He sounds like a good guy. But you know, I've been I I've been nicer to Tim Hortons employees lately. You remember last time? <laughs> Rich Osborne is like that fucking crap. Sounds scared the shit out of me. <laughs> and you know what's funny is before we went on air, I was I put it down like 15, 20 decibel points because I was like, it's a little loud because it scared me when I was when I was testing it. So I was like, now it'll work. <laughs> hey, it's still too loud. But at least you know when he does something, you gotta expect it. <laughs> You'd expect that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. The key part is the hooker. Yeah, the hooker needs to be there. So, Fred, uh, both you and Poseidon uh, should read comments. Yeah, I got Poseidon, you could read comments. I just put up the, the video on your phone and look at the comments section. Okay. Does that help? Does yeah, that make hold sense? Hold on, hold on. I should, I'm going to bring my iPad next time. Yeah, I have an iPad in there, but I, I have to set it up now and shit. No, I want mine. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> It needs to have cum stains on it, bro. I'm not what? using it. There's no cum stains on I'm it, I'm not bro. using it's it, bro. Super, <laughs> it's super clean, bro. Uh, can he read, uh, Marvin asks. You know what? Sixth grade level? I think so. Eh, fifth grade level. Sometimes I've seen him screw up certain words that he shouldn't screw up. Like cards against humanity. But, cards uh, against humanity? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Because you didn't read it. <laughs> oh, it's Max the Fishes here. Okay, we got... Um, uh, the crew is, is rounding up. It's good. Oh, by the way, this is what I'm going to ask you guys. So you saw in the beginning, we have the intro. It gives you guys some time and a little bit of a, of a clue to know that we're going live so we d- it's not just so abrupt on you guys. Do you think it should be longer so you have more time when the notification comes up? Or is, was that fine today? So let me know. So today's test is that. That's the main test is let me know of that. And also, uh, obviously, it's now we're testing a second camera, which is this camera. So we're doing two. And then we'll move to three. Yeah. And uh, so we're testing everything. We'll see what works. So when I'm on this camera, I think it's the same thing. I, I was having trouble with this one actually earlier because um, it was all blurry. There was like, all these fucked up lines. And then 10 minutes before we went on, I figured out the problem is the resolution on the camera was always going 60 frames per second. That's what it was going out to because uh, we record uh, two drink minimum. The two drink minimum. And I put it to 30 and now it works. So oh, I saw a change. That's it. If I, the, who's, who's asking? For, uh, Brian Bolt, if I'm originally from New Jersey. Uh. <laughs> he might be maybe i don't know he's from like the he's from the movie new jersey you know what i mean he's from like the the um like sopranos jersey that's where he's from yeah let's see what's up bitches you see phil fucking phil phil my uh, co-host from this just thing is in the chat as well oh, and phil, phil even bitches they have to make me show it like they block you because really you said they're yeah. not blocking me no no i had to i to show it i have to accept to show it here oh interesting yeah so it's mo- it mostly happens for Marvin, because every <laughs> second word is a swear word. You give him that iPad, and he'll be FaceTiming with hookers. Yeah, right away. He's like, I've let me ask uh, you, I'm done in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I've been getting withdrawal symptoms, though. From hookers? Yeah. Like, you feel like you need them? Yeah. Do tell. So, like, I'll go online, uh-huh. and I'll browse. For hookers? Yeah. But then you'll, like, no. And I'll close it. Like, as a way to show that you don't need them? Yes. Really? Yeah. So you're winning. Yeah. So you're not going to hookers. No. So you're fine. Yeah. I'm but happy. It, but it breaks your heart a bit. Huh? Yeah. You are tearing me apart, Lisa. It's just, you miss them. <laughs> I do, bro. So where do you go on? Hookers.com? No, it's a, it's a website in Montreal. It's called leolist.cc. Yeah, you were telling us. Like, CC. Dot CC, yeah. Is that? A, I thought I thought they could only be like dot com dot ca dot go. I don't know. You can make one. No, because it can't be hosted on. It can't be dot com. Like, I don't know. It's some weird shit. It can't be hosted on. Uh, 
on like American servers or you know you know what I like some shit like that. So yeah. Wow, interesting. So it's where is CC? I have no clue. Interesting. But uh, from the stuff that you guys are saying, Poseidon using OBS will be an overlay of porn. You know what's funny is uh, when I do get another camera set up and everything and get Poseidon uh, to have his single cam too, I think he'll have an overlay of like strippers or something moving yeah. around around him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll fuck around like that. Uh, you know, Mike Gordon Pendels, you should never have to pay for a hooker. That's true though. Really, like hookers what, what, what? should be a lot nicer to you. They should be like, you know, Pantels and Mike Ward, uh, no charge. <laughs> they should pay you. Let's see. He's like, uh, he looks like an out of shape Christopher Maltesanti. <laughs> who's who's Chris, Christopher um, Maltesanti? Uh, Tony Soprano's his nephew. His nephew is, you know, the Christopher. He dates the uh-huh. the hot blonde chick. Oh yes, 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 yes. That annoying, b- uh, but she's fucking hot. She's hot, yeah. She's fucking like. Well, he, she's not annoying. He fucking killed her dog, bro. He sat on the dog. Huh? He was so hung up on fucking heroin, he sat on the dog. Are you serious? A puppy, yeah. Wait, hold on. Maybe I'm not far along enough. I'm at season two. You've never fucking fully watched Sopranos. It no, feels like never. we took you out of a fucking time machine. Never. Poseidon. I recently started watching it. Recently started watching the Sopranos? Yeah. I don't know what to say, guys. Because people were already upset with you when you said you didn't know who Andrew Dice Clay was. Yeah. This is... Well, bro, look, I'm going to explain. People will try to murder you. Look, the thing is, I, 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 didn't, I didn't grow up with TV. Okay. I got TV way later. Okay. As a kid, I got TV way later, like uh, towards my the beginning of my teenage years, and all I would watch was white TV, like Dragon Ball Z and shit, and like shit like that, you know, cartoons. <laughs> how's what that funny? What a story, Mark. But how's that funny? Uh, Listen, Phil uh, raises a good question in the chat. He wants Poseidon to explain his goddamn slim bit emoji. I'll explain this for you guys that What's don't know. A slim bit emoji. So Poseidon, right away, I'm gonna, I feel like slapping him. So there's these Bitmoji things. You create these characters where I guess you're in... Sna- I, I created when I had my Snapchat. You create like what your avatar is. And then that thing fucking follows you apparently online. Because Phil sent me Bitmoji, which is his character. And then mine, which I forgot about that I when I created... Sna- How'd you get it? He's like, oh, it's all connected. So if you have your friends connected, you could use theirs. Whatever. Point is, he used Poseidon's. And Poseidon's Bitmoji, you create yourself in a cartoon form. Is You see him right now? But maybe 150 pounds thinner. It's just a thin guy. <laughs> so like, really? How the fuck is that a cartoon representation of I yourself? Didn't, I didn't pick the thin one. Hold yes, on, you hold did. On. Yes, you did. And we made fun of you in the chat. When? It's like you got Poseidon from a Bulgarian orphanage in 2007. That's it really does seem that way. There's no way Noah had made me fat. You didn't. You, Phil sent you the photo. That's why I was laughing about it in the chat. I said, what the fuck? Like, why is Oh, Poseidon shit, I am slim. Why am I slim? Because you made it. Now you're pretending like you don't know. No, so no but I, I really was fat. So here's the thing. Now the chat is up in arms. Because they're, I mean, they're not upset that, they're not as upset about the Bitmoji as they are about the fact that you haven't watched The Sopranos. So, yeah, I was explaining that. Well, no, because you've seen all kinds of other shit. You talk about Walking Dead. You, the Sopranos has existed for so fucking long. You could have watched everything two years ago, five years ago, ten years. Like, it's not when you were a child that they were expecting. No, I know. But then, but then at some point, like, I, I, stopped, uh, I stopped watching TV entirely and I would just play video games on the computer. I like I went through a through a phase where I would just play video games. I don't know, guys. I I I do understand your your frustration with it. Yeah, I get it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I get it. And all the old stuff I just never bothered watching. So now I'm starting like Seinfeld I had never seen, and then you got me into it, and I was like, it was fucking amazing. <laughs> Tom Tenhack is like, I really was fat. Yeah, <laughs> just laughing at that comment. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, that's fucking hilarious. Matt Murdock, Phil goes, yeah, because you're blind in too. You're wearing shades. It's funny because even his fucking Bitmoji character is just wearing shades all the time. <laughs> bro, because my future is so bright, bro. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> yeah, which game, Poseidon? Which game were you playing so much? Oh, I played a lot of Warcraft 3, bro. Mm-hmm. I played a shit ton of that. Because then there was the online, and then they had the, uh, they had made the Dota. You remember Dota? I remember hearing about it, but I don't know what it is. I never so, played it. Dota was Defense of the ancient, uh, ancient. It seems to me like you're an expert, Mark. Keep telling me. So, bro, I used to play online Warcraft 3, and they had these uh, customizable maps and shit. And, like, I would spend hours. And then I got into World of Warcraft. I, uh, yeah. Marvin says, wait till you uh, discover high def television. You're never leaving the house. <laughs> <laughs> Seinfeld. Yeah, Oswald's talking about Seinfeld. Seinfeld was a good show. Yeah, Oswald, man. Seinfeld was uh, was great. A lot of people say it doesn't hold up to now. It does when you forego the like the audience laughter when you just go on on the concept of what the fuck they're they're talking about, arguing about. It still holds up to psychos like us. 
Um, I saw those articles about millennials being offended by it, which just makes me laugh. Why are they saying soup Nazi? Nazis offensive. It's like, come on. These are kids who never had a job. Oh, you know what I saw last night? Uh, well, <laughs> I tried to watch most of it, but I couldn't. Uh, that Gotti movie that um, John Travolta was in, it's on Netflix now here. Which which movie? Gotti. It's about John Gotti. It's a movie. Yeah? When did it come out? It came out a while ago, like a couple of months ago, but the it's on Netflix now. Okay. And I heard the worst things about it, so I didn't bother going to watch it back in the day. But it was on. It was last night. I couldn't sleep, and I was like, oh, whatever. I'll put it on. It's on Netflix. It was not good. It felt... So there were there were some moments where John Travolta was like, oh fuck, he's he's a brilliant actor, you know what I mean? Like that's a good little scene, and then most of it he felt either he was overacting, so he was the best actor, and everybody else it looked like a play, you know, they weren't good actors, or sometimes he himself he was overacting it to the point where he looked like it was a, it looked like it was a joke, like he was playing a parody of an Italian guy. Really? Yeah, it didn't. And, and also the pacing of the movie was awful. It's like uh, it's like present time, future, past, present, future. I hate it when they do that. But they wouldn't explain it, so you wouldn't know. I was like, how many kids does he have? Like it was so confusing because yeah, yeah, everything yeah, yeah. was happening. It was just it was not a well made movie. Yeah. Poseidon was virtually stalking women in Second Life for sure. That's what Phil says. I don't know what Second Life is. Uh, Phil does though. Phil Phil explain what Second Life is. I know what uh, I remember. There was a. Um, my buddy's my buddy's ex girlfriend back in the day. She had a little brother who would always play a game called RuneScape. You ever heard of this? There was yeah, I couldn't get into that though. It was too, it's too gay as a game. I didn't like it. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's the John Gotti of games. <laughs> I heard uh, it's the Travolta Gotti of games. <laughs> yeah, Travolta's. Lo- oh, speaking of um, some fuckery afoot, you heard about that Brian Singer kid again. <laughs> Brian Singh, he directed the X-Men, amongst other movies. Oh, yeah, he started molesting... Uh, well, he didn't, no, he's well, been doing it for a while. They caught him again or something? Yeah, more kids, I think, came out. More people came out about him fucking kid. Like, I don't understand what's up with these fucking Hollywood people. I don't think I could ever be a Hollywood person now. I'm not willing to fuck some kid. <laughs> like, goddamn, are they all just banging kids? I don't think it kids? works that way. <laughs> huh? I don't think it works that way, bro. I think that's I think that's what happens. Yeah? I think that's what happens, yeah. But that's fucked up, man. They can have any woman they want. Yeah, I, g- I don't know. Like, you know, like, they can, bro, like, what, $1,000 for the night? Psh, no problem. They got money. That, that, isn't that funny how you think, like, right away you go back to your life, like, $1,000 a night? No, like, uh, you, you're thinking of, like, a specific case, a use case for you. Oh. But you know what the fuck they're into. Pantels, help us. I didn't put together a tight 10-minute set. Ladies love to give mouth sex to a funny man, even him, maybe. Yeah, you know what? I, I wouldn't be able to because the cadence I have on stage, um, I don't know if I could... I don't know if I could write stand-up for him. I could write stand-up for, like, maybe, like, a really energetic black guy. Um, not Pos- Poseidon. I can't. I don't know. I can't write for him. And I'm writing on a show right now, and even that, sometimes I'm like, fuck, how do I word this for the host? It's strange. Because the way I say things is funny because the way I say them. But if somebody else doesn't say, the sa- doesn't say it the same way I do, it comes off as fucking crazy. He directed the Freddie Mercury movie and painted him as an angel. Wait, Tom, he directed that new um, movie with that uh, that fucking what's the guy's name there from that uh, that TV show? The um, what's that? What's that fucking guy's name, guys? He he just won an award, I think, for that movie. No, the kid, the guy, the, the actor that played Freddie Mercury. Yeah, what's his name? Oh, Malik. Uh, Malik. Yeah, 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 Malik something. Yeah, or something Malik. Yeah, yeah something Malik. I, that guy, he plays. What's that show called? The show where the, it's like about <laughs> computers and anonymous and shit like that. Oh, I know which movie. I haven't seen that movie, but I know which movie you're it's talking a show. about. Oh, it's a show. Okay. Yeah, I saw the first season though a while back. I kind of liked it. I enjoyed myself, but I don't know if the second season's any good. Christian Slater was in that shit, but he's uh, old. Uh, Rami Malek, that's his name. There yeah. you go, yeah. Yeah, I forget what, what the fucking show is called, um, but I watched the first season. Now I forget. It's just it's slipping my mind. But he he's actually a pretty good actor. Uh, I just didn't want to go see the the movie because it looked shitty. The Freddie Mercury movie. Let's see. The Kid Rape Talk. So check Poseidon for a boner. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Poseidon hasn't yawned not once. <laughs> By the way, I was just... <laughs> not once. Oh, Mr. Robot. Frank. Oh, fucking Fred. Uh, help me out. Mr. Robot. That's it. Why did I forget that shit? Yeah. Think about the shit we don't know about yeah. in Hollywood. Or in hearing about this. Yeah, you know what? So a lot of shit comes out that you hear about and you think is fucked up. But imagine the shit that doesn't come out. That's a very fucking good thing, uh, Rich, that you said. And I've, um, I told you guys, like when I had 
my foray in Hollywood when I went to those award shows and shit. And I met. I remember like the weird parties that they were doing, and um, but I didn't. I didn't get to witness anything like like ritualistic or anything crazy like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. It was most everybody wanted to bang each other, um, and also I saw how mean the paparazzi is to some actors. Like, um, man, I saw them yell at um, that girl from Twilight. Yeah, no. what's yeah, her yeah. name? What's her uh, name? Kate. Whatever her Kate, name is, Kate. It's Kate something, something Kate. I don't know. Whatever her name is, I'm not doing it to be mean. I just, I honestly forgot her name now. So she was uh, coming to the Hollywood Film Awards, and she was in front of you where they take photos, like right when you walk onto the red carpet, beside them, they Yeah. Take, they take your photos and shit. You, you have the backdrop, <coughs> and they were yeah, like, "Look over here! Like, look over here! Oh, you fucking bitch! Don't be such a bitch! Look over here!" Like they were being really. I was like, "Jesus Christ! If it was me, I'd be punching fucking people too." Oh yeah, like I understand Kanye West. I understand all these actors when, when they, they last shot at when yeah, they like, last shot off. at them. You could be nice. You could be like, "Hey, you want to take a photo?" You have to call her a bitch, or and I don't, I don't even like her or anything. I, I think she's a horrible actress. But I'm just, you know, yeah, Kristen Stewart. That's it. Bam, fucking Tom Tanaka. Read my mind. Yeah, so they were being mean to her amongst other people, but she's the one that I was there and I saw, like I heard them, and I was like, Ugh, Jesus Christ. So Kurt Cobain montage of heck is the weirdest music documentary. Ever. Very, I haven't seen it, Oswald, but I will check it out. Let's see montage of heck. So what's Marvin saying? Marvin, I always have to fucking sh- click. Try not to swear or space it out because these fuckers block everything. Uh, if Harvey got away with raping all those A-level actresses for so long, you think his pals can't get away with fucking uh, disposable no-name children? Yeah. And that's what they do. It's a fucking... I, I got a buddy. He's a comedian in the city. I'm not going to name him now because he's a conspiracy theorist and he wants to come on just to share some stuff that he's found out. Yeah, the British BBC guy. I remember that guy too. I forgot what his fucking name was. I saw the documentary on him. Um... Henry Lavell or Cavill. He had like a weird fucking name. No, he isn't Henry Cavill the guy that plays Superman? Not him. Not okay. him. This is an older guy back in the day. Okay. Superman didn't fuck kids as far as we know. So, well, as far as we know. So, <laughs> allegedly. Well, he could. Him. He's Superman. No, he didn't fuck any. Henry Cavill, I, haven't, I never heard that at all. I won't make that rumor up, but you can. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, apparently that guy in, in the BBC, not only he would have those kids shows, you know, he would bring all those kids pop, like kids sing pop music. He was that kind of a guy. He would bring those kids in to do that. And he apparently uh, would even work with the Queen. Yeah, like the Queen gave him an award and shit. They had like an island they would go to and stuff. Seville, yeah, Seville or something. Uh, Seville, some fucking monster name. And um, yeah, he would do crazy shit like that, bro. So he, the Queen was, was part of it, like the royal family was in on it. And Really? Yeah, yeah. But all this stuff, if you look at, like, the rituals and shit that they do, like, the stuff that came out, it's all fucking creepy shit. Like, even if the ones that say... Remember when... Um, there was a, there was a picture of uh, Lady Gaga on a boat at some point. I think it was Lady Gaga. And there was a there was a person lying down. Okay. And they, there was, like, I don't know if it was real or fake, blood or whatever. It, they had food and they would... Eat off them? Yeah. Well, look, that's Lady Gaga. She'll do some weird-ass shit. But also, yeah, Jimmy Savile <laughs> or some shit. So, um... Sazville. Saz, I don't know what the fuck his name was. Uh, yeah, he he looked like fucking Lon Chaney in London after midnight. Yeah, he's creepy. He's very, very creepy, Tanaka. That guy has a creepy face. But the Lady Gaga thing, well, look, they do that kind of ritualistic shit, you know, like the mock sacrifices. But her, it could have just been, it's Lady Gaga. She'll do some wacky shit, you know, like macabre stuff is part of her theme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when she had that meat dress. Yeah, exactly. But people also do, like a lot of these, I remember when Alex Jones had the... Uh, Went to the Bohemian Grove for the first time. Remember that when that oh, video yeah, came that out? Oh yeah, that video. Yeah, yeah. So when the video came out, what was everyone's excuses? The people that they w- he was able to comment on later was, oh, it's just a thing. We get together. It's just a uh, we don't believe in it. It's just a ritual. We just fuck around, right? But whether someone believes in it or not, if they're willing to go through a ritual where they're mock sacrificing, you know, kids, you know, just faking it, like just yeah, yeah, yeah. it's still weird. Like I don't have to. Like I don't believe in it, but I still think that if they do, maybe they shouldn't be in charge of a country. Cause that's some strange shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's like that's a man. That's fucked up. That's like they're playing. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but like, I yeah. <laughs> Sirius XM has this guy Uncle Paul, real creep. <laughs> uh, <you ever> <laughs> <laughs> Poseidon needs to meet Uncle Paul. I got it. Why? You, huh? Why? I think you'd like him. He'd remind you of your uncle. Yeah, he'd probably remind you of your uncle. I don't have creepy uncles. He's he, nobody says creepy. Why he said. No, he said he has this guy called Uncle Paul. He's real a real creep, creep yeah. not creepy. He's just a creep. Oh. Uh, oh, like... like uh, he's a creep. Like sexual creep. I guess. He's sex- He's 67 <laughs> years young. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
So yeah, dudes, all that shit. I want to bring on my buddy. Um, I don't know if he'll, because he actually gets nervous talking about this shit because he has like some friends that he's met that um, I think they were I don't know like high level fucking masons or but I like, get high level he says they're different. I don't know, but he says all kinds of stuff. Um, but he probably doesn't want to come face. So we'll probably do a Skype call with him <laughs> one Sunday. I let him tell us about cool ass fucking conspiracies that he knows about. I've met uh, I've met uh, a Freemason once. Yeah, I've met Freemasons too. It's not apparently it's there's different levels or whatever. Like regular yeah. people, it's like a fraternity type of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get to a certain level, t- level, and they're like, "Yo, the devil." <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what they say. I don't know. But like, it's uh, I, I was talking to him, and he was like, "No, it's not that bad. It's if you need loans to start a business or something. It's like a community that takes yeah, care of each other type yeah. of thing. You yeah, know? you take care of each other." And uh, I was like, well, but why Why is it so, like, I was trying to explain, what about the shit you hear and read? He goes, that's not true. Then he goes, uh, but you have to go through an initiation. I'm like, initiation? What kind of initiation? Jerk off in a coffin. <laughs> he goes, you I ever, can't you tell you. ever seen that? The, the Harvard, what was it, guys? Was it Harvard or Yale? The jerk off caution? The, uh, the coffin? The uh, skull and bones? You heard of the skull and bones of society? So Bush was in there, all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So one of the initiations was where you get into that see-through coffin. And basically, people are jerking off <laughs> on top while you're in it, and you're jerking off, and it's fucking creepy. Nah. How do people get hard for shit like this? I don't know. Maybe they yawn. <laughs> 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 maybe they're just really tired. <laughs> uh, what the fuck, bro? That's yeah. fucking weird. Yeah. yeah, it's true. Tom, you're right. Who made Steve Gutenberg a star? They did. They did. <laughs> Besides, you get that reference? It's no. a Simpsons reference. No. This is strange, guys. I I, I, I never used to realized. Watch, I used to watch Simpsons, but not that much. I don't, you see, sometimes I, I, I'm glad that everyone's in the chat right now talking about this stuff because sometimes I'll, I just feel really old when I'm next to Poseidon and he doesn't get any of my references. But now I know it's just misinformation. He just he's just misinformed. Are furries hot? I don't know until you see them under the fur. Mm. Do furries? Hey, I have a question. If anybody knows about furries, now that you brought it up, uh, Oswald, furries, do they like? Let's say if if uh, it's a man. Is he going to wear, like, a man animal costume only? I think that's how it works. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Like, yeah. can you meet, let's say you're a furry, and then you're dressed as a fucking raccoon, and then you meet some um, cat, I guess. What's a woman type of thing, right? A woman will mostly wear, like, a pink cat or some shit. But can, can a cat be male? Well, let's say it's pink. So they're, like, identifying as a female cat in the furry. Can it only be a woman in there, or is there deceptive shit where it could be a guy in there, and then you take him home, and you're, like, you take off the helmet. Or they don't take off their helmets, I think. Yeah, but uh, then obviously if he whips a dick out, you're going to realize. No, no, I know, but does that happen? Or do they have to show what sex they are? I have no clue. Now you're asking deep stuff here. And are they allowed to take off their clothes and bang? Or do they have to keep character the whole time? I think they can only remove, like, I think they have, like, a pouch for men and a pouch for women. <laughs> Transfurry, the world is fucked. But Marvin, at least you're understanding what I'm saying. Because what if you're... But it, wait, so when I was growing up, when I was growing up, when I first heard of furries, I thought it was just to get together in conventions. Then through a CSI episode that I saw, I found out that they fuck each other too. But I just don't understand if they take off all the, and then there's just humans fucking or they have to, like you said, open up a pouch. I think and it's a pouch. I think it's a pouch. So it's like they're fucking a mascot. Or not even a pouch. I think they're just dry humping too. I think it's just dry humping. I think they're fluid. They do whatever they want. Let's see. Never the taint shall meet. Actually, let's Google it. But I'm going to go into private mode because I don't want this showing up on my history. <laughs> I saw a few walking down the street and I was ashamed to be alive in the 21st century. See, I don't care if people are dressing up as mascots because we have mascots. I get, that doesn't... I mean, none of it bothers me really as long as, it, you know, it's their business. I don't give a fuck. I'm just curious to know what the rules of engagement are. I'm Googling, I'm Googling how do furries have sex. Yeah, because if you're having sex full costume, then you're just fucking a mascot. How is that attractive? Nine questions about furries you were too embarrassed to ask. I'm this not is embarrassed. On Vox. All nine are things I've already asked in public. <laughs> so being a furry means you run around in the first suit all the time, right? Uh, well, not all the time. So according to uh, the research that Marvin's done, <laughs> apparently it's not a sexual fetish. It's just uh, known as yiffing. Other sexual activity with other furries is known as yiffing. Just because they're naming it's an, the sexual activity something else doesn't mean it's not sexual activity. You just said sexual activity is called yiffing, but it's not sexual activity. That doesn't make any sense. I don't care what you call it. Yeah, exactly. Mascot versus furries, like good with kids versus Uncle Paul. Yeah, there's a difference. There's a difference. They're like 
horny mascots. Yeah. But it's a big community. Because that's why we know about it. That's why we're talking uh, about it. That's why it was on CSI. It's not necessarily... Uh, it says here there are sexual themes present. While sexual activity with other furries known as Ziffing uh, is part of a subculture. It's part of a subculture. So being a furry isn't necessarily sexual. It's just dra- dressing up as an animal. like Kind of like you identify as this animal. You have like... A, they call it a fursona. Instead of a Did persona. you just say the word fursona? I time? swear to God, that's what it says. So, like, let's say somebody identifies as a cheetah. They'll dress up as a cheetah and do stuff. and like <laughs> <laughs> The fursona, dude. <laughs> yeah, so they'll... I don't, I don't think you have the answers. Or, like, people will dress up as a raccoon. Yeah, you, you ain't got the answers, Sway! 14 strange... 14 strange facts about furry sex lives. I don't want to read it anymore. I'm done with the furries. Hold on. Do hold they on. have holes in the costumes like Mormons? That's what... You see, that's the debate now, Tom. The debate here is, apparently... There's differences. There's some that have the holes, some that don't, some that are not sexual. There's like the frolic in the skin of a uh, mascot. I am a tiger. Things of that nature. That's what I understand. So, Poseidon, you're looking that up right now? They have their own sex slang. Well, Poseidon is looking up more um, furry-related activity. I would like you all (laughs) to be reminded. That if you're in Montreal, my buddy Mike Ward is having shows in French, by the way, at Club Soda. Head over to MikeWard.ca, get yourself some tickets to that. Um, there's not that many left, though, so I think the close dates might be all sold out. So check that out on his website. Uh, it's definitely worth seeing it. Whoever speaks French here and knows, if you see the tweets and you see all the stuff that's coming out um, for the show, people are going, Mike Ward, they're all saying it's the best uh, stand-up set I've seen in years. And he's he's on fire right now. He's at his peak. So MikeWard.ca, get some tickets for that. Poseidon, you were saying? There are conservative furries. Okay. What do you mean? Like, they're... Here, I'll read it. Some are not very conservative. They just waste all that furry juice. The punks have straight edge kids, and the GOP has Donald Trump supporters. In the furry world, the two main factions are the burned furs and the freezing furs. The burned furs are essentially fundamentalists who oppose the sexual nature that was nourished in the furry community for so long turning many cons into an excuse to have an orgy. On the other hand, the freezing furs uh, think it's insane that you would go to a convention where people are dressing like sexy cartoon animals and not want to get weird. How dare you talk to me like that? Listen, Poseidon, uh, you already lost me. There's only one question everyone's asking. Uh, What is your persona? I don't have a persona, bro. That's for fucking weirdos. Really? Yeah. So if you had to choose a persona, right now if we sent you... If we sent you incognito, we sent you to check out a furry convention. But you obviously, to put the camera in there, you got just like a furry. You had to choose a fursona. What animal are you picking? Shark. You'd be a shark? Yeah. Why? Because I'm a shark. You're a shark? Yeah. In what universe a very are you? fat shark. How are you a shark? What's shark like about you? I don't know. I just like sharks, bro. Yeah, but what's shark like about you? Because you just said you're a shark. So what makes you a shark? You think sharks get no. pepper sprayed a lot or they lose their money to <laughs> prostitutes? Is that you think sharks like rent out discount <laughs> cars under the sea or shellfish under the sea? Like what do you <laughs> the fuck are you talking I about? I don't fucking know, bro. I just I think sharks are a majestic animal. That's it. Majestic? Yeah. You're just using that word. Yeah. What's so majestic about a fucking shark? It does the same thing other sea dwellers do. It swims around. Yeah, but the way they kill. What's majestic? How do they kill, by the way? They eat. They. So you don't even know how a shark... Th- You're just fucking <laughs> talking out of your shark ass. <laughs> no one has ever been more full of shit than Poseidon. <laughs> Is that what they're saying? Yeah, yeah. He said when he smells blood, he eats. That's exactly like Poseidon. That's how Poseidon rolls. Well, I did fuck a prostitute on her period. Yeah, yeah nobody's surprised here. <laughs> nobody is surprised. You're, they're disgusted with you, <laughs> but nobody's surprised. To be honest, I'm disgusted with myself most of the time. Oh, she was a tree sloth. Yeah, you would make a good tree sloth. Yeah? Yeah. Now, climbing on top of the tree would be quite difficult for you. Or a peacock. Yeah, maybe, Mark. You know what? A maybe peacock. A, Why peacock? Well, because you're always peacocking. You're wearing the fucking jacket. That's true. Like, you see, he put his jacket in the background just so you guys can always see his jacket. He was I didn't do that on purpose. He I was just trying to wear the jacket. He's like, because I, I told him, I go, okay, bro, get ready. You know, take off your jacket. He's like, no, no, no. I don't want to wear it. Why do you want to wear it? Yeah, 
it looks nice, bro. It's a cool jacket. And then I had to convince him to not wear the goddamn jacket because he would look like a buffoon if the stream would start and he's inside with sunglasses and a jacket. But you know what? For the sake of what you want, Poseidon, put the jacket on. Show him, show him the jacket. God damn. Show him the jacket, Poseidon. So while Poseidon uh, puts on his furry costume, I decided to talk to you guys for a bit one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> By the way, nice haircut. You look like an upstanding member of society. Let's see. It's hard for the girl you fingered to fuck her as a sloth. Painful. Yeah, I don't. I, honestly, I don't know. I, apparently, some of them they do bang. Some of them don't. Uh, let's get back to Poseidon here, who has a jacket on. There we go. No jacket required. Poseidon, I like how you have there. Yeah, you have the collar up too. Yeah. 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 Poseidon kind of looks like Bane with that collar up, huh? Yeah. Eh. You look like Fat Bane. You're fat you're, Bane. Yeah, you're Fane. <laughs> <laughs> He's Fane. It's a new comic book character. Or Fabane. That's... <laughs> I killed it, didn't I? I'm very upset. I didn't want to have to do this. Yeah, I look good in it, though. Yeah, sure. So let's see. Your guys back and forth is funny as hell. Is it funny? I don't know. I get upset. Like, everyone's out of Pantelis. Why do you get upset? You so good nature. He, he makes me angry. You the just stupidity fun, makes bro. me angry. You just gotta have fun, bro. Look at you. Show me your watch, too. Sure. Show me your watch. Show me. <laughs> it's the size of his head. Big Bane. Red Wings. Who said that? She saw a peacock. Let's see. I like that jacket. It's classy. It's a nice jacket. I told you. Thank you. Yeah. No jacket required. Poseidon, get, get, put your phone away. Because you, you see, that's the problem with having Poseidon. I just remembered why I didn't want him to read the well, chat. No, I'm more. reading, I'm reading the comments. because he gets unfocused because he reads the comments. That's why it's better for one person to read the comments. Because then it's just silence. Also, because the level he reads that is very low, so it takes... It takes you know, me forever. Somebody wrote, no jacket required, and it took him a minute and a half. He's like, ah, <laughs> no jacket required. Okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> so read the comments. Um, why would I read the comments? I'm talking so, to so you. I know, so I know what's happening. Th it doesn't matter what's happening. They're saying great things about you. One of them is talking about how uh, much of a great human being you are. Really? Yeah, put your fucking phone away. I think, I think I'm a piece of shit. Put your fucking phone away. Yeah, I didn't go to the Discord yet. I don't know um, if anything's happening in the Discord. I'll share it for the people that don't have it already. There you go. Bam. There we go. Bam. So people can, uh, can check that out. There we go. Live now on Twitter in case people want to join in. But uh, yeah, the <coughs> I haven't been in the Discord in uh, in a little bit. I know Marvin's pretty active on the Discord. He's been pretty good. Um, let's see, they're readying the network. Oh yeah, we're getting some newcomers in the uh, in the Discord. So yeah, if you guys look at the Pantels live thing, you'll notice that <laughs> yeah, there we go. There's Marvin. It's always Marvin putting the shark porn. <laughs> so yeah, you'll notice Marvin posts some pretty uh, funny, some cool shit. What did you say? So it's always Marvin putting the strap on. It's always Marvin putting like the the cool shit on there. Oh. Like okay. these, uh, it's a, what the fuck is that? Is that a cartoon shark fingering itself? What? <laughs> what? Let me ask you a question, Marvin. Here's where do you find this stuff, though? I gotta see this. No, Hold no, on. Poseidon, put it away, no, goddamn no, no, no. it! We Hold don't on. need you yawning during. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> what? I'm not gonna. <laughs> What's Demi videos? Spam Demi videos. D M, D E M I. Can't unsee that shit. Yeah, it's a weird thing to unsee, Marv. Now you have Poseidon right away. The second I said the sharks fingering themselves, it's strange. Like, if somebody told me that, I wouldn't rush. Right what oh my the God. fuck? Right what away. the shit is this? I'll tell you guys something right now. There's a... What the fuck? This is too weird. For a fact, you know that that's what Poseidon's going to beat his me to a little later today. Absolutely the fuck not. That's no. a, that's that's too weird. I've, ne I've never seen a man hear there's a cartoon shark fingering itself. Like, oh, I got to fucking see that. I've <laughs> never... never. No, I was curious to see what it looked like. Yeah. And later you're going to be curious <laughs> to see what it feels like. <laughs> That's disgusting, man. Uh, the old rule 34, if it exists, there is porn of it. Yeah, it's true. If, if something exists, there's going to... I guarantee oh, yeah. you there's fucking Tim Horton's porn. Sorry, sir. We don't have we don't have that Hold kind on. of donut. No, put your fucking phone no, on. No, no, no. I have to Google this. No, 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 stop, no You don't have to Google you it. Brought it, not, no, no, you brought it up. You brought it up. It's not fun for the viewer because you're, you're... Give me your phone, Ramalaka. They can't see what you see in your head. Okay, fine. You understand? So uh, yeah, there's there's guaranteed to be porn of uh, of Tim Hortons, but that makes sense though. Demi Lardner, Demi. Oh yeah, that's the fucking. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, Demi Lardner is that stupid fucking clown that you put in the Discord. This, ah, 
she calls herself a comic, but she's garbage. Garbage. Like he Marvin actually made me mad. He posted that shit. I was watching her stupid videos of uh I don't know, my dad searching the internet or something stupid. And what 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 what? It's just she's just doing stupid shit. Like? Like I just said, like she has a segment, my dad looking at the internet. And then it's just she's saying stuff that her dad will look at the internet. Like just she reads out his uh, browsing but history. But not his real, just made stuff up like what's Demi Lardner age? Well, if it's your dad, why would he Google your age? <laughs> like a lot of, it's just stupid. He's just trying <sighs> Yeah, the Jared, you're right that um the scat porn that Oswald was mentioning for sure exists for uh Tim Hortons after what happened. There's definite shit porn. After what happened? Don't you remember that lady that threw the shit at the Tim Oh Hortons yeah. Table? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so scat porn definitely exists. Do you remember uh Two Girls One Cup? Every every waking moment of my life. <laughs> <laughs> How can I forget? Do you remember that shit? Mm, I try not to. That was that was terrible. Almost puked. Almost. Yeah. But instead, I erection. jerked off. <laughs> <laughs> How did you jerk off to that? No, nah, I didn't jerk off to. Are you insane, bro? That's insanity. That's like next level shit, bro. That's like you're so bored of regular shit that you gotta find something so crazy to jerk off to. But that was in the beginning. That was in the two thousands, no? Yeah. That was like right at the beginning when uh, people were starting to share some crazy ass like yeah. shit like that. Do you remember uh, E-Bombs World? Yeah, that's during E-Bombs World time. Yeah. That's when like reaction videos started to come out. Yeah. And they used to have, remember when um, that girl from The Exorcist, the face where she's possessed, they used to pop out the in pop videos. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. There used yeah. to be reactions of people getting their moms. Like, uh, yeah, for fuck's sake, you remember 9-11? <laughs> because uh, Marvin's like, uh, yeah, of course, everybody remembers uh, two girls, one cup. Like they still ma- they still reference it today, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. like when it had Sidney Crosby and Malkin winning the Stanley Cup, they, they wrote two girls, one cup. Like they still reference it. Um, and do you remember the videos? This was this was again around that time. Do you remember the videos of uh, Pain Olympics? Pain Olympics is the people that would staple shit to their nuts. No, they would literally cut their dick off okay. with an axe, <laughs> with a short axe, bro. What? Bro, I saw a video once. I was a kid, bro. I was in. I was like, I I was scarred, bro. I think I couldn't sleep right for like a month. Listen, guys, at my house when I was a kid, I wouldn't <laughs> watch TV. <laughs> Man, I don't know what these shows you speak of are. I was watching men sever their penises. And uh, I had friends over or whatever, and one of them puts on this fucking video, bro, of a dude with. So an somebody axe. came to your house with a VHS tape of a man cutting. No, it was uh, on the internet. But you said he came to my house and he put a video on. Yeah, on the on the on the computer. So he came to your house yeah. and he went on the computer and said, Let me show you what I've been watching. Yeah. Who is this? I don't remember. It was a friend. Suspicious. <laughs> How's that suspicious? Because you've told us many times that you didn't have that many friends growing up. You had one friend that we know of, Chris Legacy. Yeah. Uh it wasn't Legacy. Also I had a friend from elementary. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was something you found online and now you're like, I gotta pass it off to <laughs> someone else. Yeah, a friend. You know, it happened. Fr- I'm asking for a friend. Yeah, <laughs> if you cut your dick off, does it grow back? Just asking for a friend. <laughs> he's, just, he's just curious. He's just. He, but does it though for real? What's but imagine our dicks grew back like lizards. Imagine and shit. Lizards' tails. That your dick would grow back. Yeah. How crazy would, would that? Would be? Would it grow back bigger? I don't know. In but your, no, in, it just in, grew in, back in, to in its your, original size. In your fantasy, yeah. would it just be the same size? Or would it grow every time you cut it off? It would grow a little bit bigger, just a little bit. So if you want to get that like dick size every time, every time, but only a little bit would grow. So if you want to get that dick size that you're imagining of, you would have to cut your dick off repeatedly. No, that's just weird. I would just bring it back to the same size. No, no, you don't have the choice of bringing it back to the size that you want. Yeah. Naturally, what happens is you cut it off and it'll grow back, but just a little bit bigger every time you cut it off. Because what would happen in a perfect world is you'd be able to cut your dick off and just throw it at people. Is who, that a perfect, who, who, that's your perfect world? Who, who, who piss you off. So that's you, that's the perfect world. So you cock slap them, literally. That's the perfect world. You yeah. could do that now. Caitlyn Jenner, you could do that now. You could cut your dick off and whip it at people. You yeah, but then it won't grow back. I want to keep my dick. I like how most people are like, in a perfect world, <laughs> kids wouldn't be hungry. <laughs> in a perfect world, no child would get molested. Poseidon's like, in a perfect world, bro, you can cut your dick off and throw it at people. (laughs) (laughs) That would be perfect. (laughs) Nothing else needs fixing. No, why? What's the problem? It's just... 
You fucking maniac. <laughs> Goddamn maniac. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That was funny the way you said that. That was hilarious. You, you would honestly, Marvin's right. If that was reality, <laughs> your, your, your basement would just be filled with dicks. <laughs> Just trying to get that size up. No. Just filled with severed penises. It's disgusting. <laughs> is it Poseidon? Is it pain the Olympic Poseidon? Is it disgusting? Oh, shit. I got to fly to New York this week. Oh, shit. I hate flying, guys. I um, dread it. Where in New York are you going? Boston. <laughs> oh, no, because this is New York State, right? Why? But you know that I'm going to New York. You know I'm going to Manhattan. Why do you ask stupid questions? Where in New York, bro? <laughs> Jersey. <laughs> How about that Philadelphia? <laughs> you ever been to Wisconsin, bro? <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> yeah, I don't like well, flying. I, I said something last time, and then you imitated because I don't. I don't hear how stupid the shit I say st- sounds until you hear the video. Until you watch and the videos. Until I watch the videos, or until I hear you make fun of me, <laughs> which is fucking hilarious, by the way. Which is one of the reasons I enjoy saying stupid shit now. It's is because like, I hear you re, <laughs> like it's like a reanimation, you know, like a, a reanimation, like a spoof. Bro, it's like a reanimation, bro. It was dead, but then you reanimated, bro. <laughs> <You> spoofed, puff, poof. <laughs> You're the Leslie Jones of podcasting. No, but you know what I mean. Yeah. So d- we didn't so talk yeah. about last week Leslie Jones and the Ghostbuster thing. I don't know what people's opinions are on that. Did you guys see that Leslie Jones came out and said because they're making new Ghostbusters with the original cast that uh, it's literally something Trump would do? <laughs> it's some m- misogynist Nazi shit apparently to um, make a new Ghostbusters movie without the female cast. <laughs> I talked about on this just thing a bit. But how fucking crazy is that to say? But they do have women in the movie. In the movie. Like, they just won't be Ghostbusters. What do you mean? In this new one? Yeah. Maybe there will be some women. I don't even know. They're the ones overreacting. Because it's not their movie. The one that they made two years ago or whatever. Because their movie sucked. Right? Their movie wasn't good. Their movie wasn't good, so they're making a new movie. That's what studios do. You guys need to understand. Even the one they made, Ocean's, Ocean's 8. With all female cast, that did, one did that actually happen? I thought that was a parody. No, that did happen. It was garbage too, apparently. Yeah, because you're forcing it. Yeah. You understand? You're forcing yeah. something. It works or it doesn't. It uh, Lara Croft, to- Buffy the Vampire Slayer works, right? Because that's yeah. what it was meant to be. Tomb but Raider. It, yeah, Tomb Raider. But imagine Tomb Raider is Buffy one of the, the best Vampire series. Slayer, but they re- they should reboot Buffy now, and it's a guy. His name is Buff. Buff the Vampire Slayer. Like, if and they- he's a jock. <laughs> he's like, oh my god, what are we gonna do? We need Buff. Hey, dudes. <laughs> Sorry, I was just throwing the football and uh, <laughs> had to kill a Nosferatu or two. <laughs> <laughs> but do you remember the, you know, have you watched the Underworld movies? Yeah, of course. There were Kate Beckinsale. Huh? Kate Beckinsale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they Gorgeous. were pretty good. Very good, yeah. They're very good, yeah. And nobody ever thought, like, but it's the same thing I say about all these people that want certain ca- Make a new character. Be original yeah. and create your own fucking thing. Stop shitting on people for not, like, imagine all female two drink minimum. It's true. Marvin's right. That would be a bad show. Yeah. Like, but like, imagine they recreated Underworld. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, Mike? Are you talking shit? Like, <laughs> sort of be, be no laughter, just yelling. But imagine they remade Underworld, the Underworld series. But like, uh, what's 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 her name in the movie? The Kate the, Beckinsale. Yeah, but the, her actual name. Uh, in her real no, life? No, no, Kate her Beck- fake name in the movie. Oh, I don't fucking know. I forgot. But imagine they 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 remade it with a dude. It should be Hulk Hogan. And, and they called it. Uh, they they called it. What are we gonna do about all these werewolves, brothers? <laughs> <laughs> You know, it would <laughs> suck. It would suck. Yeah, of it course. Because it wouldn't be the same. Yeah. I agree. I, I Just create original content. Yeah. Nobody gives a fuck. I never went into a movie. Like, I liked, remember Blade? Blade was fun. I never went in being like, oh, Blade's only good because he's black. Or I don't want to watch Blade because he never thought it's Blade. Yeah. That's the character. But if they would remake Blade now and they'd be like, in the role of Blade, we have fucking, I don't know. Some Asian guy, Jackie Chan. No, in the role of Blade, we have Adam Sandler. Like, hey guys, uh, what are we gonna do about these vampires? <laughs> yeah, then I'd be like, this is stupid. I kind of want to watch it, though. I'm curious, but it's still stupid, you know? It's not, <laughs> no, I get it. Yeah, it's it's forced, it's not, it's supposed to feel all natural. Yeah, Rich, you're right. This, their movie bombed, and she thinks that the studio owes them something just so people, and I know you guys probably get it. You guys are all entertainment buffs, like, you understand the industry to the point where studios don't give a fuck. No matter what they say, they don't give a fuck about the art. They don't care about that. They care about making their fucking money. It's all investment, right? All about that guap. So, yeah. So, like, if I give $10,000, am I going to make 
money off this. So I give 10. I'm expecting 50 at least. 10 to cover the cost that it costs to make this piece of garbage. And then I want my profits. That's all they care about is they, to make money. So if they feel like they're getting shit on because of that, they won't go see other movies that studio made. Uh, it didn't make as much money as they expected, all that. Yeah, they're not going to. It's all money game. They're not going to go back. I guarantee you that movie could have sucked. If it broke records in making money, they would make fucking five, six of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, it's like Sharknado. Yeah. Sharknado. Have you seen Sharknado? No, because I haven't I'm, watched them either. I'm an adult. I haven't watched them either. But imagine Sharknado with giraffes. Giraffe no, NATO. No, it wouldn't be as scary, though. You know? No, but they're garbage movies. No, but could you imagine if it's a tornado, but with just giraffes inside? That would be terrifying, bro. Imagine their necks spinning around all They'd over the place. They'd be dead. Huh? Just like the shark should be. Yes, the shark should be dead yes, too. but they would cause a lot of damage. But anyways, That's a lot of damage. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, Sharknado, very garbage movie, but they've made like four or five. Because yeah. it makes money. Because as wacky, because it's all it's wacky and cheesy and retarded. So people still watch because it's still entertaining on that level. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the movie doesn't take itself too seriously either. But Ghostbusters wasn't wacky enough, I guess. Exactly. To, uh, it was just shit. Yeah. Remake Meg Ryan movies with Leslie Jones in the female role. Yeah, that would be disgusting. She's she's just not a petite little lady. She's very abrasive. And her, it wouldn't work, right? And we have to admit that it wouldn't work. It doesn't go... You know, you can't... Again, like, imagine you're doing a Lifetime movie of Hulk Hogan. You know, I'm using him as an example because everybody knows who he is. And in the role of Hulk Hogan, it's Kevin Hart. It would be weird. It's not a race thing. It's not that people are mad at Kevin Hart. It's just like, that's fucking stupid. Can we be adults? Can we be honest? Or is that still off the table? Are people scared to say the truth right now? Is that is that still what's happening, guys? Are we not... Uh, everything Everything someone says has to be either homophobic, uh, heterophobic, transphobic. It can't just be honest. Bro, fuck everybody, bro. Do you remember that whole thing that happened where that, um, that uh, trans uh, YouTuber was saying that if a straight guy doesn't want to go out with a trans woman, uh, essentially a guy that's transitioning to a woman, uh, he's a transphobe and he's, he hates gays or whatever the fuck. Do you remember that shit? Yeah. Doesn't that just make him straight if a guy doesn't want to fuck another guy? Isn't that what it makes you? Like, that's the yeah. simplest. It doesn't make you a hater. It feels like they're trying to... It's, it feels like they're trying to normalize... Because cause it's not normal to be... In reality, it's, it doesn't go with nature. Yeah. To be to be gay or trans or any of that, which that's not the point I'm trying to make. Is they're trying to normalize that and show that the rest of the world is the anomaly? Yeah, you know that's what it feels like, which is not it's not the case. No, it's, it's like you're the anomaly. But well, like it doesn't it doesn't mean you're you're bad or a bad person. You know what? You're still human. You're still you still have. But like you you're not you're not I, trying to say the anomaly as in like you you're saying you're not trying to be insulting. Yeah, you're exactly, exactly. You're the odd man out. It's yeah. not the rest of the world that needs to fit into your bubble. Exactly. Yeah, that you know? makes sense, obviously, because the, if the minority decides for the majority, that's very dangerous. Exactly. And that's what's happening. Yeah. You're right. Which yeah. is fucked up, uh. man. Like I, It's disgusting, bro. Because in reality, if a guy doesn't want to have sex with a guy, what it makes him is straight. Yeah. That's it. That's the common. But now they're like, oh, if you don't want to have sex with a guy and you're a guy, you're a homophobe. What are you talking about? I don't give a shit. I'm not going to. Yeah. You're right. You're right. It is a little. Cr- Even Poseidon is right once a day. It's like a broken clock. <laughs> Remember, Arnold was pregnant once. So was his maid. Too soon. Yeah, It's true. Whatever happened to uh, Arnold's maid? What happened to that maid baby? She had that baby, right? Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah. He had knocked up his maid. Oof. But she was disgusting. Ugh. Yeah. So what happens. Some people... Man, f- at least if it was a hot maid, I'd be like, I get it. Some people fuck what they want. Some people fuck what they can't, Poseidon. That's just how it goes. <laughs> I, I feel like... Uh, he could do better. I feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger could fuck what he wants. But there's also there's also the question of accessibility. She was there, and he figured nobody's gonna believe her. Also, he doesn't have to go out of his way. Yeah, it's it is strange though that he would, because he's married to a Kennedy, right? Like, isn't that crazy though that he's married to a Kennedy? Okay, what what Kennedy? He's married to a Kennedy. Like uh, his his wife is one of the yeah. Kennedys. She's really? part of the Kennedy family. Yeah. And, and he still doesn't look like a Bill Clinton. Wow, I'm surprised. Why would he look like Bill Clinton? Because Bill Clinton looks like a fucking zombie, bro. Looks like he's been drained of his soul. Yeah, but what does Bill Clinton have to do with the Kennedys? Well, because, anyways, I, w- I thought I was going somewhere with this. Sorry, sorry, guys. I'm, I apologize. <sighs> <sighs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. So the maid baby is um, the maid baby is uh, over eighteen, is what they're telling me right now. 
Is it a guy or a girl? Do we know? Does he take care of this baby? I'm very curious, this baby. This adult now at this point. I'm very curious. But goddamn, the maid baby. And she stayed with him, his wife, though. That's pretty That's pretty fucked up, too. That's pretty interesting. Nah. I think if it was a hot maid, she wouldn't have stuck around. You think so? Yeah. I think she stuck around because she's just like, eh, whatever, clearly this isn't a romantic thing. Yeah. <laughs> This is we a boredom. Also, thing. I could have played it off as like, ah, I was hard. She was there. My dick was up. That, yeah, that's how you play. That's what normally happens. You know, and she undressed, and I was like, fuck it. Let me stick my dick in her. The sign is so goddamn retarded. He laughs so hard. Yeah, you're talking about the Kennedy thing. He's like, yo, the Kennedy, bro. Like those, yeah, bro, the Armstrong family. <laughs> he just said, you know what happens sometimes? He says words. It's just words. Well, because it makes sense in my head. But how then, does that make sense in your head? I don't know. I don't know. I have a fucked Because they're up, all in politics. Because I have a fucked up brain, bro. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Those frogs, bro. <laughs> They're not looking out for the... Arnold is divorced now. Is he divorced now? Ah, poor Arnold. Poor Arnold. There was that video of him driving around. Is, was that real? Was that really him? And he was swearing at everyone? Remember that Arnold video? Arnold Schwarzenegger? He's yeah. driving around swearing at strangers? Yeah. He was, was driving a Hummer. I don't know if it was real or if it was fake. Could have been real. I mean, he is Arnold Schwarzenegger. What are you going to do to him? That's true. Like the Kennedy guys were ever faithful. Yeah, apparently, Tom, all the Kennedys were um, were whoremongers. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know. But yeah, apparently the Kennedys were big. They loved they loved the broads. Yeah, I love the broads too. Yeah, no, but they were in, involved in all kinds of like extramarital type of shit. Really? Yeah. God damn. Yeah. You like that? Hmm? Makes you feel good. Why would that make me feel good? When you think about the Kennedys, like you're almost a Kennedy. You have the whoremongering down. Yeah? Yeah, but you need charisma. <laughs> you need some kind of political savvy <laughs> and an education. And then you'll be a Kennedy. Or like a Kennedy. Yeah, like a Kennedy is better. Do you think whoremongering runs in the DNA? I don't know. I oh, think it's like a... I got to ask him. I think our boy Earl Skakel, I think he's a Kennedy too. If I remember correctly. Yeah? Yeah, who's fuck, I forgot to... Who's Earl again? Earl, you met him. Remember we were uh, in LA? We did his podcast. Earl, glasses. I never met him. Yes, you did. He's a comic, glasses. Remember when you fucked up the house, when you ha- we had to drop us off there to record, and then you had to drive back to the house to make sure you locked the doors and then come find us? Yeah, I never I never came in. I never met him. You've never seen what he looks like at the store with the glasses? No? Was no. You never, whatever. I can't. It's like I was with him, right? He was in LA with us, but it's like he, we lived two different fucking lives. <laughs> Like he, he's in different I'm reality. My own little world, bro. But uh, I, I really wanted to go in LA to to see the you know pass by the beach a bit. Where? Over there, bro. What's the beach called, bro? What beach? In Do West you, Hollywood, bro. What about it? What's it called? What about it? I want. I just wanted to go see it at some point. The West Hollywood Beach. Yeah. <laughs> so that's not a real thing. I, I know, but the beach where it's like. It's you're like the coast, bro. You know, you're it's the coast. Santa Monica, the Santa Monica. Yes, Pier. there you go, Santa Monica. I want to go see that. I never had a chance. I was because I went checked the checked the house, and then came back. And on my way back, there was so much traffic. I was like, "Fuck! If I go, am I gonna have time to go?" Yeah, it would take you an hour to get to Santa Monica yeah. from from there, from West Hollywood. Yeah, even though technically it's only like a twenty minute, no, tw- twenty to thirty minute drive, bro. Mm, no, it's usually uh, about an hour. That's how long it takes me. Really? Yeah. Oh, maybe less. Maybe forty minutes. It goes. There are skakels, uh related to Kennedy's. One got convicted of murder. Jesus Christ. God damn. 30 years after he killed a girl with a golf club. God damn. Well, was it during a golf game? Like, was she interfering? And he killed her, like, by mistake? Swung and hit her in the head or no, something? No, with the club, not with the ball. So it wouldn't no. have been by mistake. It could have been that she interfered in the game. No, but you know that swing they do and they swing backwards after? and the, You know? And she was walking behind him? She then it wouldn't him. have been murder. I don't know, but possibly what happened is um, she just showed up at the course and they killed her because uh, that's a gentleman's game. You're not supposed to be there. I, I mean, it's in the name, golf. I don't think... Gentlemen I'll only, ladies forbidden. So she... I, I, I know, but I don't think this applies. I don't think it applies to nowadays. I think it applies. I think it applies. You think, think so? Yeah. Did you see that, uh, speaking of golf, did you see the Family Guy bit with uh, Donald Trump and... Uh, no, and, all and Peter Griffin. No, the only thing I heard was that Family Guy said they will no longer do gay jokes. Yeah, it's just the gayest thing I ever heard. Why the fuck are they exempt from fucking gay? 
What from, the fuck from, does that mean? Would you wh- just... Why are they like? Why do they get a pass on not being joked about? Like, what the fuck is this shit? Who Family Guy? No, gays. They the don't gays. Get a pass. The, the show does whatever the fuck it wants. The I know. show doesn't have to adhere to your fucking beliefs. Do whatever it wants. It could. Jo- it doesn't want to joke about gays. It's, it's the right of the show. Yeah. Okay, all I'm saying is that now it's kind of stupid that they're drawing a line with one specific after the Oscars thing that happened with Kevin Hart. They're like only okay, n- not making fun of this, but everything else is open. Like, then is everything really open? And then and then they're gonna make a rape joke on the show and then be no rape jokes. And then we look at okay, gays and no rape jokes. And the next thing you know, they can only only joke. gay rape jokes. <laughs> That's it. They're like ah loophole. <laughs> yeah, I oh I, shit. I agree that it's stupid that they they just decide one day like oh this is a protected class now. Just make and nobody I never even thought about it. I never thought of any like homophobic jokes or anything. Yeah. I don't family. It just seems it's just jokes are jokes. Now though, because they're doing that, it makes me think like wait why. Do you guys believe that the shit you were saying was hateful? Like, were you trying to be hateful to someone? You know? Interesting. Because if you weren't hateful, like, I never thought about it as hateful. I just thought as jo- everything they said was jokes. Even the Simpsons, when they, like, the Simpsons, when they make fun, like, Homer. Remember Homer when he was Greek and he did all that stuff? And they're just jokes. I'm not like, <laughs> as a Greek, I'm offended. No, it's, they're jokes. They're just meant yeah. to make you laugh. They weren't sitting there being like, how do we piss off the Greeks? It's not true. So now if you're saying that, then either you're saying that they're a protected class and gays can't take jokes, which is not true. Um, you know the old adage, you can take a dick, you can take a joke. Yeah, especially uh, in the ass. All right, Poseidon, yeah. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. If they could take a dick in the ass, they could take a joke. The the saying is if you can take a dick, you can take a joke. People understand. You don't have to go into... Su- <laughs> Your wife's pregnant. <laughs> yeah, I brought put my dick inside her. I came. <laughs> uh, we didn't use a condom. Yeah, she didn't get her period. Uh, yeah, I think I'm having a baby. She's getting a little bigger. We did one of them um, super ultra mega sounds, bro, <laughs> where the sound goes in the belly. Like, you don't have to go through this much detail. You could have just told me <laughs> that your wife's pregnant. Yeah, but you got to know how I did it, bro. So missionary, okay? <laughs> then uh, she climbed on top, but I sneezed and she fell over. <laughs> um, <laughs> fucking do <deuces>. this. <laughs> <coughs> that was funny. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Could you imagine uh, Poseidon as a police commissioner? Like, so what happened, to the commissioner? And he's trying to describe like a rape. I'm like, so we heard that uh, those <laughs> high school students were raped. He's like, yeah. Yeah, what happened is the assailant, we don't know enough details yet, but what we do <laughs> speculate on is that um, he ripped off their clothes and forcibly entered the vagina. <laughs> And, okay, yeah, we understand what a rape is. No, 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 but she was saying no from what we understand, and he wasn't taking no for an answer, and then he, he invaded their anal cavities as well. And Yeah, yeah, but commissioner, we don't need to know those details. Like, you know, that's a bit much. Yeah, yeah, and also he reeked of Kentucky's fried chicken, you know? In my books, that's a plus, you know, but not for the girls because they were raped, like we said. <laughs> or could you imagine me pulling somebody over as a cop? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, listen, uh, we're kind of going over the speed limit. <laughs> you do it better. You do it better. <laughs> that was so dumb. It hurt my feelings. <laughs> You're going over the speed limit. Eh. Da, da, da. <laughs> the sounds like, yo, I'm just going to say three words. Watch this. Watch my greatness. <laughs> just ludicrous. So, yeah, it's uh. just so funny that you have, like, we understand what it means. I don't know. I don't know why I gotta go. Why? Why I gotta get into so much detail? Yeah, man. Yeah, he's uh. Sorry, I lost. My, I lost my brother. Yeah, how did he die, bro? Was it a murder? <laughs> Somebody stabbed him. Cause me in the hood, I heard it was a murder, bro. Somebody took a knife, all right, and went to his neck, but he didn't die, bro. He survived. He was choking a bit, you know. And then they started stabbing in his neck. I heard a guy raped him. <laughs> yeah, we didn't need to go through those details. Beside him, he was just saying he's dead. Yeah, okay, he's dead. You know, rape, murder, whatever. <laughs> He's dead, Poseidon. He's just dead. Oh, he did that the other day, too. We are driving by. Oh, yeah, there's uh, that bar. Yeah, bro, didn't that guy die, bro, a few months ago? Remember, he was a dead man. You remember that? And I was like, bro, shut up. But what, bro, he's dead now, no? He died? He's asking that. Like, he knows when the funeral was, and he's asking. He's dead, no? Like, it's, it's like a part-time thing. I was at his funeral, bro, the guy, uh, last month. Now it's good, bro. Owns a new bar. <laughs> he made it. He really made a quick recovery from that whole death thing. Do you remember? Do you remember open air? Yeah, 
how does he not drown in the shower? I don't know how he doesn't drown in the shower. I don't know how he does it, Marvin. I don't know how the fuck he does it. Yeah, open air. What did you say? There was. A Remember, we were driving on. Uh, yeah, it was a <laughs> farmer's market. And he's like, bro, how do they have a market there, bro? No building, open air. It's in the open air, bro. Like, what does that mean? You know, bro, when it's open air, <laughs> as opposed to closed air. <laughs> open air markets, bro. Just you talk to him, and you're like, fuck, this is a cartoon character <laughs> from a universe that doesn't exist. <sighs> It's my universe. Yeah. A retard. Oh, my cheeks are hurting from laughing. That yeah, was entertaining. Your ass cheeks? <laughs> no, my my face cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> my face cheeks, bro. My regular cheeks, you my know? Reg, my regular cheeks. My exit cheeks, bro. My entrance cheeks, they're fine. <laughs> my what? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, exit only, bro. Exit only? Yeah, bro. It depends, though, no? <laughs> no, are you no, crazy? No, it doesn't depend. No, never, bro. It depend. What if it was Terry Crews? Terry Crews? Yeah. Definitely fucking exit. Exit only. Are you crazy, bro? But what if Terry Crews would take it? What? Terry Crews doesn't doesn't listen to no, bro. He doesn't take no for an exit. Then that would be rape. Poseidon's Open Air Emporium, yeah. Because you read that commercial. Hey, welcome, oh everybody. <laughs> you ever get tired of all the closed air inside your closed home, inside your closed <laughs> office, inside the closed outside? You come to my emporium. Poseidon's Open Air <laughs> Emporium. <laughs> it's a parking lot where you get all the open air you could need. <laughs> I'm just selling drugs, though. No, he's like, can I park my car here? Wait, inside my store? No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this wacky individual here. He wants to park inside my store. But your store is outside. It's an open air emporium. <laughs> Jesus Christ. GG Christ. I'm upset with you, Poseidon, at the stupidity. But in the same time, I'm a little happy. Did see What's entertaining? Nothing. I'll tell you later. Mm. Oh, my God. I have a lot of notifications. Put your phone away. Put your phone away, Poseidon. Very, very unprofessional. Was gonna, was give me your phone. Give me your phone, Poseidon. No, it's okay. So put it in your pocket. Okay, fine. Fucking Bane-looking motherfucker. Bro, it's like I'm in high school again. What the fuck? I gotta put it in my pocket and shit. Yeah. The difference is that now you can afford to pay for sex. What? The, the difference between now and in high school. Yeah. In high school, you couldn't afford to pay for sex. No, I was able to afford. To pay for sex? Of course. In high school? I How many hookers I did you I just didn't discover paying for sex in high school. Oh, okay. That was a... <laughs> no, science hadn't reached that level yet. <laughs> you made a scientific breakthrough after I, high I, school. I, did, I didn't have that... Uh, I didn't make that discovery. I actually made that discovery because of you, remember? Oh yeah, it's true. Yeah. I sent him in to get a massage. <laughs> he ended up having sex. Yeah. <laughs> I like how I'm to blame for that. <laughs> um Pantelis, what dare you in the compound shows? Uh this Wednesday I'm on uh, the Anthony Cumia show with Anthony Cumia and Dave Landau. You know those two dudes. And then Thursday morning I'm on In Hot Water with our boys Aaron Berg and Gino. Yeah. So that's what's Bam. happening this week. Yeah. So those are two shows you want to catch. Um, it's, I was going to say especially but there's no especially they're both fucking fun shows we're going to have good time and uh, you know what I'm going to do I'm going to bring my book down so Kumi I could sign my fucking book if I'm going to have the goddamn book might as well get it signed you, you feel me dog? I feel you because when me and Mike me and Mike bought them to support we bought them on Amazon like we did the pre-order before it was announced that they would have the autographed versions so ah shit that yeah I see matter. but uh I don't want to say. I want to Marvin's say like Poseidon with the chemistry set trying to discover horonium. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just walking away with like a liquid, throwing it on women, turning them into whores. That would be a very good cartoon show. I would be like the supervillain, and there was like, and it would be like the superhero. Yeah. <laughs> What's that, Poseidon? <laughs> Tell us more about this cartoon. Just like, uh, like a super villain, you know, like a mad scientist. Yeah, and what's he doing? He's uh, making a ho- whatever he said, horio- ho- hor- Hor-o- horonium. Horonium, making horonium and shit. That story went nowhere. You and then I'm taking the horonium yeah. and I'm infecting different women and they're turning into whores. <laughs> I'm like you should pitch it to Netflix. <laughs> I'm just this mad scientist, super villain and shit. That show already exists. It's called The Bachelor. Oh, <laughs> that was good. That was good. Thank you. In hot water should be fun. Yeah, in hot water is gonna be a great time. 
Throwing a liquid? Does he mean cum for fuck's sake? <laughs> what? What? What did he say? I have a... It's horonium, all right? <laughs> I make it in my laboratory. Um, <laughs> just re jerking It's <laughs> just... I, I, I masturbate <laughs> into one of these test tubes, yeah. <laughs> and then I throw it on him. <laughs> He's like Miggs from Science of the Lambs. Remember Miggs? He was in one of the cells where he... Threw his jizz on uh, Chloe Starling. Have you ever watched Science of the Lambs? Why am I asking? I know the answer. Is it no? Yeah. Oh, there we go. I knew that. You, you What's it about? Science of the Lambs? Yeah. It's mostly about a butcher who, um, he has a butcher shop, but then these fucking psycho bullies, one, the guy, w- one guy who tucks his dick in between his legs, his name is Buffalo Bill, they try to take over his butcher shop. Why? To silence his lambs. Because it's called the Lambs, is the butcher shop. So it's called Silence of the Lambs. Like they're trying to shut oh, down the butcher shop. Because okay, okay. Buffalo Bill wants to sell his products instead. Uh, oh, you know, interesting. but he's a weird, like a uh, cross dressing. Uh, uh, he likes skin. He likes feeling fat women's skin. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know if that's what you call it. Yeah. Multiple uh, Migs. That was his name. Migs. Yeah. Multiple Migs. When he's like, oh, I cut myself. And then she looks through the cell. He's like, look at the blood. And he just came <laughs> on her oh face. Oh my God. That's disgusting. Yeah. yeah. So it's basically your show, Heronium. He's just throwing it on Chloe Starling. That's the prequel. And then Multiple Migs gets out, and he's Poseidon, basically. That would be a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Marvin called you an uncultured animal. <laughs> I am pretty uncultured. Yeah, he's very uncultured. He hasn't... It's... You know, some stuff, like, you kind of understand. You kind of understand that Poseidon doesn't know about. And other things that are, like, culturally relevant, and not just culturally le- relevant, but also in his... The way he acts and the stuff that he knows and the, the show that he's on and compound media and all that stuff, you'd think he'd be at least a little bit aware of, but he's not. Like, Science of the Lambs, he should be 100% aware of. Sopranos, he should have already watched the entire season. Seinfeld should not have been a new thing he discovers. Um, all these things, all these things. It's like, I don't know, it's like going to a um, to a fine restaurant, okay? And uh, you call the guy, the sommelier, the guy over for wine, right? And you're like, what wine do you suggest? And the guy's like, oh, I only, I only drink Coke. <laughs> No, this fancy shit. <laughs> He'd be like, oh, okay, you're in the wrong field. No, no, no. <coughs> I'm in the right field. I fucking love the smelly wine. It smells like fucking, you know, wine and shit. It's it smells good. like grapes. Yeah, but I prefer Diet Pepsi, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, hey, Rich, there's a lot that he hasn't seen. Yeah. Yeah. Do I have enough time, though, to watch everything? Yes, you do. You have nothing but time. Are you crazy? I, are, you, are you fucking with me right now? Are you I w- fucking I with me I work right a now? lot. No, you don't. You yes, work just as much as everyone else. You do not work a lot. Yeah, I do. No, no. You work a lot for you because you're lazy. But you don't work a lot for... You have all your full weekends off. Yeah. You're free Monday to Friday until 4 p.m. You have more time than most people have. Yeah, but then I got to sleep too. Yeah, I'm not telling you. You sleep at night. Yeah. You could sleep till noon every day. No, I finish work around 2 to... Exactly. 2 so to 30. By if the time you I'm sleep home, till noon, three. you can sleep till noon, you'll get 10 hours of sleep. From three to noon? No, that's. You're supposed to get. Oh, that's nine hours. Of yeah, sleep. you're supposed to get six to eight. You get even more. You have more free time than anyone else, and you get more sleep than the average fucking person, and you still complain that you don't have time. That's not a time problem. That's a lazy problem. I like sleeping. No, you just like laying there. Remember what we talked about? I said yeah. you're gonna play a game or you're gonna do something. You're like, bro, I'm too lazy for that shit. I just want to lay there. <laughs> <laughs> you like you're like Jabba the Hutt. Yeah. Yeah. But with but a nice coat. No, Jabba had nice everything. Jabba was loaded. You're like you're like a less successful Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> you don't speak as many languages. You don't have that many honeys. You're very less successful Jabba the Hutt. You're Earth's Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> but Jabba the Broke Hutt, you know? Jabba the teepee. Jabba the teepee. Yeah. That's good. Uh, he can't sleep till noon, he'll miss Degrassi. I don't think he's ever watched the original Degrassi's. Degrassi? Degrassi Jr. Hi. You never watched that? No. No, why would he? He probably knows Degrassi with Drake better than he would know the original Degrassi. Yeah, he doesn't know Degrassi. Degrassi was not just a part of Canadian culture. It was a part of American youth culture, too. Really? Yeah. yeah. It was the only show at the time that uh, had kids in like real situations like abortions, AIDS. All really? That shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they shit. That sounds yeah. crazy. Yeah, it would. <laughs> 99% he doesn't know who Jabba the Hutt is. <laughs> He's of course just, I do, bro. Star he Wars. Does. I show, I've showed him stuff. He knows. No, I've watched all the Star Wars. This is Jabba the Hutt. The guy at Pizza Hut, bro. <laughs> His name is Jabba. He told me it was Jamal, bro. Is he lying to me? 
doesn't want to be friends. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with Poseidon is you don't know what he knows. Like sometimes, you know what the crazy thing about Poseidon is? He's so embarrassed about telling us that he doesn't know shit. I could have a conversation with him going for five minutes about a topic. And then I notice just this fucking blank stare. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, do you even know what we're talking about? He's like, honestly, no. <laughs> So you've been talking to him for five minutes, and in his head, it's just circus sounds. It's like Homer Simpson when he's people are talking to him, and he's imagining just bears on tricycles. Like the 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 monkey with the, <laughs> you know the <laughs> laughing monkey. That. Yeah, the, yeah, it's exactly like that. It's fucking crazy. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Thanks a lot. Bye. Does it make any sense? <laughs> Wait, what was a hi, doggy? Yeah. You're my favorite cut. That didn't. Yeah, when he walked into the store in the room. <clears throat> He sees a dog first. It's her pit bull or whatever. And he's like, oh, whatever that dog is. And he's like, uh, oh, hi, doggy. He's petting the dog. And then she doesn't know who he is until she sees him up close. He takes off his sunglasses. And then she's like, oh, hi, Johnny. It's you. You're my favorite customer. Oh, thank you. Ha, 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 ha. Like, the interaction doesn't make any sense. That's strange. That's, yeah, that's strange. how aliens talk. Even I don't interact like that. Yeah, because he wrote. it would be like if you wrote the script, it wouldn't make any sense. I would like to see you try. Can you write a script and then we'll share it with everyone? Yeah, sure, actually. Please write a script. I have to have to not be lazy. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> so you want me to write a script for a For movie? anything. 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 Like an action movie. Yeah, but remember, it has to be... I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Have it has to have drama. Oh, hi, Mark. It. Okay. Yeah. It has to make sense? I, we, we, you could try. Okay. Uh, we're not too hopeful. <laughs> but you could definitely try, and then we could share on the Discord. How long does it take to write a script? Depends how long does it take you to write. Like, you want me to write it on a computer? Or, like, by hand? Why the fuck would I want you to write it by hand? <laughs> I knew you would get mad at that. Come That's on, why you, I said were it. Were you thinking of writing it by hand? No, taking you, a picture of it no. and then sending it to me? <laughs> you stupid no, son I of just, a bitch. <laughs> I just knew you would get mad at you that. You know That's that why I killed I said people it. for less, right? <laughs> I was just joking, bro. Relax. <laughs> You can direct the Pendleton. If it's crap, just pretend to be Kevin Smith. Yeah, if it's shit, I'll just be like, there's a wacky new way of making <laughs> films. <laughs> Letting a retarded person write it. You know what we should do? We should actually fuck around. We should talk to Mike about it. We should invest in kind of a... Uh, you know how Windy City Heat? They yeah. basically fuck with Perry the whole time. Yeah. We should kind of do that, but we fuck with the actual audience or the people, I guess, uh, reviewing and funding these movies. We get together, we have you write it and direct it, okay? And then Jesus me and Mike Christ. just do promo for it. And it's obviously going to be shit. But then what we say is that you're a mentally handicapped person. Why are you talking shit about a mentally handicapped person's work? So then we saw these people being like, it's a beautiful masterpiece, you know? And it's just like, yo, where the whores at? And it's just a bad cut to you and chicks <laughs> dancing. <laughs> and then it cuts back and you're like, my childhood, not so great. <laughs> I would love that. I would and love just to a do that. random that master. That would be amazing. And, but then they're scared to talk shit. They're like, uh, he's, um, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful tale of his inner thoughts. He's like, yo, fuck bitches. <laughs> <laughs> he's <laughs> just everything in Poseidon's brain, but on, on, a, on, um, on a script. And then we turn that into a movie. God damn, that would yeah. be scary. Kevin Smith is getting skinny, but he still wears giant hockey jerseys. Does he still wear the giant hockey jerseys? You know, I think now that he looks better, he doesn't wear that stuff anymore. But yeah, he used to always have um, those jerseys on. But I'm happy that he's doing better because he almost died. I don't know who Kevin Smith is. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. I, I'm going to have an aneurysm on camera. <laughs> I'm going to have a fucking stroke. No, but who is Kevin? Who is Kevin Smith? Maybe, maybe I do know, but just I need to jog my memory. Uh, uh, Jane, Silent Bob, sh uh, Strike Back. Jane, Silent Bob, uh, Chasing Amy, Mall Rats. Uh, Jesus Christ. I don't know. What do I tell you? If you don't know that, like you, you don't know Jane, Silent Bob, then I can't. I don't know. <laughs> People in the chat are going to kill you. But why? It I just never watched these things. That's how, it. But what happened? It doesn't make any sense. I don't sense. know. I don't know. It doesn't I make don't know. Okay, you know, okay. Some of the stuff you're saying is, just so you can understand, tell me if you would think this is weird. Yeah. You meet a guy. Okay. You meet a guy from... Um, Kazakhstan. Uh, even Yeah, Kazakhstan. Even crazier. 
fucking dirty ass Mongolia, okay? And he, you would expect that there's some cultural differences. But if the guy tells you, water, what's water? Wouldn't you lose your fucking mind? Or, or if I told him Genghis Khan and he's like, who's Genghis Khan? Not the same thing at all. No, no. That's probably, he might have been in a village where he was uneducated. That's just rude. But water, <laughs> everybody knows about water. Do you see what we're saying? You see why people are freaking out? Yeah, but you can't compare water to M- Marvin movies. Marvin made the best example. He doesn't listen to Barbara Streisand, but he knows who she is. Do you know who Barbara Streisand is? I'm very bad with names, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know Poseidon? Poseidon is the kind of guy that if you'd put him on one of those shitty game shows where you know the first three questions are easy, Poseidon will lose at the first question. <laughs> This next musical starred Barbara Streisand. Or whatever. And Poseidon's like, yo, what do, <laughs> what's a musical? <laughs> oh, God, come on. That, not that bad. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I know water. <laughs> That's where shark hookers fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, you have a good uh, question. What did you watch? Like, what do you know? What's your favorite movie of all time? Oof, favorite movie? Favorite movie. a good one. Oh, fuck. But I've seen so many movies. <laughs> if I didn't say name every movie you ever watched. You no, fucking I know, I know. silly rabbit. But it's hard to Okay, pick. okay. So if I don't say favorite because that closes you off, one, a movie that you like. One movie that you like. Underworld. Pain I enjoyed, Olympics. Un- I enjoyed Underworld a lot. Yeah, Poseidon would phone a friend and get into an argument with the friend. <laughs> He'd phone me like, I need to use a lifeline. <laughs> <laughs> Let me call my friend. Oh, bro, Patalus, yeah, I'm here. Bro, it's who wants to be a millionaire? It's the first question, though, bro, okay? <laughs> but uh, it's one of these tough ones, okay? So it, it says here, uh, this movie starred uh, John Travolta and Samuel L. Jackson, and it was the rekindling of Travolta's career, and it was the breakout-directed uh, movie by K- uh, Quentin Tarantino, and my options are Sesame Street... <laughs> Pulp Fiction? <laughs> Sounds ridiculous. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> Carrots. <laughs> and Toaster. <laughs> what, what's the answer, bro? And then that's when I was like, you <laughs> stupid motherfucker. <laughs> is that, is it Carrots? Because I'm between Carrots and Toaster. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. which, uh, which, uh, I like Django a lot. I like stuff with a lot of violence. Okay. Violence and sex. <laughs> rape. No. I like violence rape. and sex. We need to cut out a sound bite of no, that. No, no, no. I don't Besides mean like... We like. I oh, like violence on. and sex, <laughs> no, bro. No. Hold so on, hold on, hold on. That's not what I mean. I don't mean like where violence and sex is happening at the same time. I I'm going to I'm gonna make something <laughs> for you. I'm going to make a meme for you online. It's going to be Poseidon. It's going to say, I like my violence the way I like my sex. Rape. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. But yeah. Like a lot of a lot of killing. Yeah, it's easier to get an answer out of a Gitmo inmate. Yeah, it's we have to waterboard you for answers. What movie are you like? I don't know, bro. Movies now. Questions. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of movies out there, bro. <laughs> you want me to pick one, and then all the other movies in the planet get offended? Come on. <laughs> I like I, I I like mobster movies a lot. Obviously. I love mobster movies. Yeah. Uh, Favorite mobster movie. It's a tough one. There are a lot. Yeah. What was that one called with uh, Goodfellas? I loved a lot. You should watch a Serbian film. I did watch that. You like that? That was with, uh, what's his name, from Lord of the Rings? The actor. Viggo Mortensen. The actor, yeah. Yeah, that was very good. I enjoyed that movie a lot. What was it about? Uh, It was uh, about a Russian mobster, no? He had the He had the cross... He was like high up there. He was ranked really high and shit. Yeah, that's not what that movie was about. A Serbian film, I believe, if uh, Marvin can uh, speak. Uh, wasn't that the really violent um, Serbian film? Uh, you're, you're thinking of um, you're, you're thinking of the one where he was in the KGB or when he was a, a mobster and they try to yeah. kill him. Yeah. And they, in the shower, he's fighting with his dick out. That's the one you're thinking yeah, yeah, yeah. of. Yeah, that's not it. Well, which one is a Serbian film? Hold on. <laughs> so 
what I deal with. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me Google it. You ever watched Lord of the Rings? Oh, f- bro, of course, bro. Lord That's when Rings. that fucking black cop... <laughs> <laughs> That's when that black cop from Detroit goes to Beverly Hills, right? <laughs> a Serbian film. Yeah, he's thinking of Eastern Promises. Yeah, that's what you're thinking. Yes, Eastern Promises. Yeah, that's not the same movie. Did I see a Serbian film? You need the Jeopardy mu- music on your soundboard. I never I wasn't going to get it. Now I will. I'm going to have to put the Jeopardy music. And we're going to do a segment every, every Sunday where you guys get questions together and we ask him. I never watched a Serbian film. Yeah, a uh, Serbian film is basically the knife rape scene of Seven expanded into an entire movie. Yeah, apparently, I, that's why I haven't watched it, Marvin. It's just so mentally fucked up. Really? They had it here at Fantasia, I think, a few years ago, <laughs> uh, part of the um, international film uh, section, and someone saw it, and they were like, yeah, don't watch that shit. Jesus Christ, Yeah, really? like, it's really fucked up. You would like it. You could you could jack it to it. But I don't think so, but um, what else did I enjoy? I, I loved Star Wars. That's one of the greatest mobster movies of all time. No, uh, movies in general, bro. Now, we're, now I'm talking movies in general. Okay, so you enjoy Star Wars. Which one? Oof, that's tough. <laughs> I enjoyed the action scenes of 1, 2, 3. Uh, 1, 2, 3 or 3, 4, 5. Or 4, 5, 6. 4, 5, 6, I enjoyed the story. Okay. The storytelling and everything. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, I enjoyed the action scenes. Okay. The shooting and the fucking... You know? Shoot, shoot, shoot. Bow, bow, bow. Yeah, 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 all that shit happening at the same time. People swinging lightsabers around and shit. Yeah. One of my favorite action scenes is the one, uh, you know, where, where Anakin is trapped with, uh, what's that uh, chick's name, bro? They're tied to like a chain and they're, it's like an arena. Okay. It's like two giant poles and shit. And they release this giant monster and shit in the cage. Okay. What happens? They, they cut free somehow, kill the monster, and then like a giant fight between the, the robots. The droids and the 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 the, uh, the, um, the Jedi's happen. Okay, it's just like like it's just complete chaos. Mm-hmm. I love that shit. I believe you. I love that scene because it was just chaotic. It was just like so I like chaos. You're hearing it here first, people. In case you didn't know, Poseidon, a simpleton. <laughs> <laughs> no, I enjoy chaos. I enjoy watching cha- chaos unfold. The one in space, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Padme, that's her name. Oswald. Yes, Padme. Padme. Yes, yeah. there you go. Uh, and like he fucks her and shit, and she gets pregnant. You, well, okay, yeah, that's the part. Yeah. And then she dies. How does birth she get pregnant? Him. He fucks her, bro. Yeah. <laughs> You're a regular George Lucas. <laughs> uh, excuse me, George. <coughs> I just wanna. I have a question about the scene that we're filming. <laughs> yeah, what's the question? So it says here that uh, Anakin and Padme have children. Yeah, that's what they do. They fuck, bro. She gets pregnant. <laughs> yeah, it's just the way you wrote it. Yeah, what I write. You wrote <coughs> Anakin fucks Padme. <laughs> uh, it's a little vague, kind of like, how do you want us to shoot this? You know, you shoot a fucking. <laughs> you shoot fuck, cut future kids, bro. Come on. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if I shot a movie, it would just be a bunch of killing. It would be like a very violent movie, and then it would cut, turn into a porno for a bit, cut again, just a bunch of killing. It would just be like an action movie and a porno put together. As much as I make fun of the generation of millennials, you are the reason why everything's wrong personified. You don't know, but you act like you do know, you know? Like, someone like you, there's a female version of you. And she, like, that's what I'm saying is someone like you could still make it because there's a female version of you. Her name is uh, Alexandria Macarena Cortez. And she's uh, in Congress. She's a congresswoman in the States. That's insanity. Insanity. So what I'm saying is you could still make it. And that's a problem. You know what I mean? Because you can hold a position that is powerful and um, is important. And you're useless as a human being. I'm not useless. Well... You're not useful. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. I work hard. <laughs> John Dick 3. <laughs> John Dick. <laughs> That's funny. Parabellum, yeah. Um, <laughs> John Dick 3. <laughs> what happened to 1 and 2? <laughs> oh, bro, we start in order. <laughs> it's just John Dick 3. I'm going to explain the story of John Dick 2 and John Dick 4, bro. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> I just starts it's just John Dick three, and then five, and then one. 
It's just and none of them are actually even. It doesn't take place in proper time. Like John Dick One takes place after John Dick Three, <laughs> but also after Five. <laughs> well, wait, isn't that what George Lucas did, bro? He released Four, Five, Six. Yeah, but that three. was all coherent. Four, Five, Six came yeah, out, and then One, Two, Three came out. That actually took place before Four, Five, Six. But One, Two, Three kind of sucked. Uh, Oswald, Generation Z. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know what Z, the Generation Z is. I don't know when they break. Isn't it Z? I know X. I know the Gen X people. I know the millennials. Is Z... Which one is Z? Is Z us or the one before us or the one after us? What there's do millennials also, there's fit There's also Gen Y. Let's Google it. No. Gen Y has to be me, I think. No? Hold on. Gen y. So Star Wars. Yeah, that's it. Just, uh, just Star Wars. That's what he knows. He knows... His brain literally told him, what do you enjoy in movies? Pew, <laughs> pew, Bro, fuck babies. Pew, pew, pew. Space, space. Pew. That's that's it. <laughs> that's how his brain works. Goddamn simpleton. <laughs> okay, Gen Y is between. Uh, so Gen Z is ninety five to two eleven. Okay. Oh, oh, there's a picture. So if that's Gen Z, then I'm not Gen Z. Jesus Christ. No, well, what year were you born? Eighty six. I'm a millennial. So you're Gen. No. You're, you're Gen Y. What's a millennial? Isn't millennial Gen Y? Okay, so millennials are currently aged between 20 to 35. Oh, so I am. I'm yeah. Gen Y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or born between 1980 and the end of 1994. Ah, interesting. Mm. With some more generous, defini- the generous definitions taking in those born up to 2000. They also get called Gen Y because they follow on from Gen X, 1965 to 1979 after the baby boomers. Interesting. Yeah. So what's after 2000? Gen Z? Well, yeah, but I don't think they have... I mean, they're starting to get buying power, those guys, no? What? Luffy, 81. Um, confirm Poseidon is Gen Y, yeah. You're 100% Gen Y. Yeah, W-H-Y. Like, like, why did this happen? Yeah. <laughs> Gen Y, bro. <laughs> That's you. Gen That's Z is 1995 and later. I don't understand, because um, it doesn't. Because f- me, when I think of millennials, I think of people minimum five years younger than me. I think it depends who you grew up with, because I, I I hung out with a lot of people that were older than me. Yeah, yeah. Well, like so, like my mindset is more. That's why you know. Uh, like me too. Mo- mo- most of uh, you, a hundred percent, you're a millennial. Uh huh. You've this nah. entire, bro. Stop fucking around. They just watched you for an hour and a half. And they've already made, like, you can't argue it. They literally saw you say, what is Silence of Lambs? What is this? Sopranos, I watched a few seasons. Seinfeld, I'm glad I'm getting into this hit new program. <laughs> like, they know. They know you're 100% a millennial. You know you're a millennial. 100 fucking percent. Because I guarantee you, you know who PewDiePie is. Ninja, you know all these fucking retards. But you don't know. The only reason I know them is because of my brothers. No, because you're a millennial. That's why you know them. Your brothers are younger than you. Yeah, but I don't watch. I never watch. Your brothers are younger than you. They're not supposed to dictate culture to you. It's supposed to be the other way around. They're supposed to be like, oh, I know Sansa Lambs because of my brother. They're not. Children are not supposed to dictate to adults in terms of culture. They're not children anymore. No, they were. Yeah. And to you, they are. Yeah. No matter how old they get, you're always going to be older than them. You know that, right? They're never going to catch up to your age. Is that how that works? Yeah. (laughs) They never catch up. You're supposed to dictate culture to them. That's how it works. Or else, if it was the youngest that would dictate, then everybody would be wearing diapers. I'm like, ah, that's I mean, true. Yeah, you're supposed to dictate culture. I learned the term Gen X from the movie uh, Reality Bites in 1993. Reality Bites, why does that sound familiar? Was that the, was Janine Garofalo in that shit? I don't know, that sounds familiar though, Reality Bites. Whatever happened to Janine Garofalo? Oh, you know, you know who I, um, you know what show I like that made me laugh a lot? Uh, you ever seen Nathan Fielder? Nathan, for you, you ever seen that Poseidon? No, doesn't surprise me. It's a new show, but you still doesn't surprise me. Bro, I have so much catching up to do. It's not like I said. It's like you came out of a time capsule. (laughs) It's like we kept you in a bunker underground. You thought there was nuclear war. (laughs) You came out. You're like, what did I miss? It's like I went to prison, but didn't really go to prison. It's kind of like that, except in prison you would have been informed. Yeah, I'd read books and shit. Mm, That's never gonna happen. (laughs) But you know, you there'd be a TV there. I'd read books right away. I don't read books when I'm free, bro. But in prison, guaranteed. <laughs> I'd catch up on my education. No, you wouldn't. Yes, you, you, you know what you would catch yes. up on? What? Sleeping and getting fucked in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> you would catch up on that. Fuck you, bro. Why fuck me? That's what You said prison. That's what, ha- what do you think yeah. happens to you in prison? Oh, and I'd get in shape. 
Because I'd be I wish it would be true, but well, no, because I'd be weightlifting so much. You'd weightlift for a month. No, because I, I actually enjoy weightlifting. Here's actually what would happen. It. Yeah. You would weightlift for a month until you get bullied by like white supremacists or something, and then you'd be like, "Oh fuck, I don't want to get bullied at the weight room anymore." That's what would happen. Or you'd be like, "Weightlifting was great exercise, but I get way more exercise by raping inmates." <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Yo, See, but sex is uh, is a very cardio good cardiovascular activity, bro. Yeah, Nathan, for you, you guys uh, watch that shit. That's a uh, funny shit. I just saw the first season a little while ago. Uh, it's older, obviously, so I'm gonna get the second season too. Very funny. He does a lot of. Um, he's a wacky, wacky guy. Let's see. Poseidon is a Pacific Island native when World War II breaks out and sees the Navy ships suddenly show up. Yeah, that's who you are. You're like one of those people that lived on those islands in the Pacific that had no contact with. Hum- and they see like submarines and space and uh, planes. And they think they're spaceships. Like the aliens are here. Like they've never seen that shit. That's you. We'll show you something right now. You're like, how does this exist? So Poseidon, this has been around since the '60s. The what? <laughs> you. I thought we were in the year 500. Why would white supremacists give him shit? Because he's a white infuriist, right? <laughs> infuriorist. That's what he is. What does that mean? You're, you're inferior. <laughs> you're not. He's not a white supremacist. He's a white enthusiast at times, but um, how am I a white enthusiast? You don't like uh, you. You don't like white people. I don't like anyone. You don't like white people. I don't like white uh, people in general. Really? Yeah. That's not true. That is very you, true. You talk about paying for sex, so clearly you like women. I like fucking them. Yeah, so you yeah. like them about something. But they also annoy me. Obviously. Yeah. But that doesn't mean you wouldn't fuck them. Yeah, that's true. So then you're in this, you're a whore enthusiast. Yeah. So white people, you'll talk to them, you'll buy stuff, you'll have some friends that are white. Yeah. So you could be an enthusiast of the white people. But you're not a, sup- you're not a white supremacist because you don't think they're supreme. No, I don't think they're supreme. No. But do you feel like you're inferior? No. To what? What? You didn't, uh, why did you say no right away? I don't feel inferior to anything. To anything? Yeah. Are you joking? You should feel inferior to a goddamn dictionary at this point. Like, <laughs> how do you not feel inferior to anything? Are you, like, we were not here for an hour and a half discussing all the shit you don't know? Because I'm still Greek, bro. Yeah. Well, that's why. You're not white. But yeah, Oswald, Greeks aren't white. No, not by the yeah. definition that uh, these fucking uh, Western liberal arts people are um, using. Technically, because they, what do they consider white? Anglo-Saxon, Germanic, shit like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, not Northern us. Northern European. Yeah, not us. We're Southern European. They don't like us. Because we tan easily too, don't forget that. That's not the reason why. That's <laughs> <laughs> Hitler's like, yeah, we must kill all the Southerners. They tan so easily, yeah. <laughs> uh, mein Führer, is that really a reason to kill him? Yeah, so jealous. <laughs> I burn all the time. Yeah, get rid of it. Nobody needs to know about this. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to say. Uh, no, Poseidon is not white. Poseidon's definitely not white. I mean, he looks white, but he's not. He's not. Marvin knows. Well, no, bro. In the summer, I look like a Pakistani dishwasher. Yeah. That's my word for him. But that doesn't mean you're not white. Anybody could tan. But yeah, you're Turkish for sure, Marvin says. Turkish? And that's what he says. How dare you? Marvin's done his research. Fuck you. For calling me Turkish. He's like, there's no way I'm Turkish. He's like, my dad's name <laughs> is George Strombolopoulos. And my mother is... <laughs> There's nothing Turkish about me, except for my mother's name. <laughs> uh, screw that. I see Europeans as Europeans. Well, it's different for Europe, because Europe is a whole fucking continent with different people. So the Scandinavians consider themselves Scandinavians. They're as white as it gets, I guess, in terms of what they look like. But they're not white culturally like the British. Like They have their own culture, that socialist Cold North culture, those Scandinavians, yeah. right? Gay, as you call it. No, I said yeah. Oh, I thought you said gay. <laughs> You're like, yeah, gay, bro. Totally. Well, it is also gay. The socialist uh, regime and shit. It's not a socialist regime. They, it, they live. It's a different whole thing for them, right? So then you have like the Italians and the Greeks, which are very, very much alike, and they're not at all like uh, like uh, French or English people. Oh, yeah, you know? the complete That culture is completely different. So in terms of the white Western, uh, westernized version of it now, the Anglo-Saxon thing, they're not white. Uh, Spaniards, same thing. Yeah. They, they're not white like in, in the cultural sense of what they dictated now. But then, if you meet a Frenchman from really south next to the 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 water, Marseille, yeah, they're very much alike, like uh, Italians and Greeks. And Funny that. you say that. That was a Greek colony. Really? 
Interesting. Yeah, a lot. Because I've met a lot of uh, Frenchmen from from South and a lot of Frenchmen from uh, like. What's Paris funny is Marseille North. actually has a huge problem now with hooligans and a lot of um, hardcore Muslim gangs. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, times change. Yeah, so that's the difference when you're talking about. Uh, so is Scotland, but it's still a shithole now. Yeah, Scotland too was. <laughs> so th- that's the difference now is when they say white, like um, I don't know, it's different. But in the Indian, what the fuck does it? You know. I dictate by culture. Uh, that like that's what dictates my behavior towards a person. Yeah, it's like it's like Indians and Chinese are still Asian. They're both Asian. But Asia is a continent. Exactly. It's not this. You know what I mean? It's you could say they're Asian. It's accurate. People yeah. could say that Greeks are European. A hundred percent accurate. Yeah. But when they say white, it depends what they mean. Do they just mean not no, but black? That, that's what I'm trying to if say. If you mean is, not is black, then they yeah. don't. They don't like it when you when you throw them all into the same boat. So Portuguese, same throw? thing. Portuguese are not white. If you yeah. go if you go by that definition. They're not black, but they're not white by the definition of, you know, the white yeah. man and this and that. Because everybody who came here, everybody who, uh, like, immigrated from uh, that weren't part of that Anglo-Saxon, or even the Irish when they came here, they were treated like shit. But, I mean, further than that, anybody who was not part of that English <coughs> Commonwealth world. So when Greeks came over, Italians, uh, they were all treated like shit initially. Like garbage. Uh, garbage, right? They were the different uh, people. So... It, uh, it like like I said, white now it, is everybody banding together and like if it's not black, then it's white. Is that what you're talking about? Me, I me, I, I just think about it culturally. Like when I hear of all oh, that's so white, like the way they dance or whatever, that doesn't apply to Greeks or Italians because they have their own culture of how they they don't do the white people thing. Yeah, Greeks and Italians are great dancers. Yeah, they do something completely different. Same thing. A Spanish, you can tell me Spanish people aren't fucking dancers. Bro, S- the fucking they know how to uh, dance. Bro, these fuckers. Fucking salsa tech, bro. Fucking Mister Steal Your Girl, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Salsa, bro. Not only is it a delicious dip, but fucking great dance. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but the Irish were gingers, Tom says. Yeah, that's why they were mistreated. <laughs> like, you goddamn orange bastards. <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, w- when I think about it, uh, it, it, I always think about like I always think about it culturally. Like, that's how I, you know? Yeah. So, because in the end, it doesn't matter where the fuck you're born. It matters if you have a garbage culture and you're not. Like, if you're part of a shitty neighborhood and the culture is garbage. Yeah. You're a cult, you know. You're a cultural zero. That's what's gonna. Yeah. Like um. Oh, and a, a great example is like um. I don't know if anybody here likes basketball, but like Yanis Adetokounmpo, right? He grew up in Greece. He's a Greek guy. Yeah, but he's black. Yeah, because his parents were from Nigeria. Right? Yeah. They they escaped. They immigrated, but he was born a Greek. Yeah, he was born. He was born a Greek, and he, he went, speaks better Greek than us. Yeah, he went. Well, not me, you. But he went to the military. Um, he um. He speaks Greek. He gives back to the. I mean, he considers when he got drafted, he was there with a Greek flag, not Nigerian. You know, he's, he's yeah. Greek. Culturally, he's Greek. So, what the fuck does it matter? Like, why would you classify him as something else? And it's like I meet some Greeks that come off the plane to rent a car, and I try to speak to them in Greek, and they're like, huh? And they're just so whitewashed. It's the yeah. same thing. Uh, that's just stupid. That doesn't make any sense. But he, he, he hadn't heard his voice in a couple of minutes, so he had to say something that makes no sense. But basically, the Kupo is a good example because he's. Uh, if you just see him and you assume. You're like, oh, he's just a black guy or whatever. But he, what does that mean? You know, there's, he's, he's a Greek guy. The guy speaks Greek, doesn't speak Nigerian. He speaks Greek fucking better than most. Um, he's, you know, culturally, he's a Greek guy. He does Greek things. He's, a, he's an Orthodox guy. What's the language of Nigeria? Uh, Guatemalan. But Guatemala is in South America. Yeah, but they were a colony. Really? Just like Angola is Portuguese. Interesting. Angola, they speak Portuguese. And a lot of the... Uh, the or African like Brazil countries. speaks Portuguese. As yeah, well. that's the same thing. There was, uh, I think it was uh, Vasco da Gama that uh, went down there and found that place. Basketball check. It's, it's Black History Month already. Almost. One week away. Yeah, I like basketball. But yeah, the Tokumbo, by the way, fucking captain of the uh, Eastern Conference team this year in the All-Star game. Western uh, captain is LeBron James. Apparently, he's a very good player. Who? At the Tokumbo. Apparently... He's the future. That's what they're saying. He's he's a fucking really? monster, and he's always he's just getting better and better. Like I, I was, you know why? Because a fucking Greekster. <laughs> but I was reading something like he'll play offense and defense. He's like all over the place. Yeah, he just likes playing. He has fun, and he's he's very good. He always likes to get better. He practices a lot. Point is, that's not that's not what I'm trying to tell you, people. Is uh, the whole cultural thing and the whole race thing and why white friends wouldn't like him and all that stuff. Going back to it, <coughs> it's just who de- who decides this now? Like me, if people get mad at me, they call me a white guy. Oh, you have privilege because you're white. I don't know, when I grew up here, the French police, all my teachers, they're all shitty to me because I wasn't white because I was they're Greek. They're still shitty. Yeah, no, but they were shitty to me because I wasn't French, which they consider white, right? And I w- So it depends who you're talking to. You know, some people, if it's different, it's different. That's why you judge fucking people individually, you know? Like Poseidon, piece of garbage. 
It doesn't mean that the rest of the people in this room are pieces of garbage. Though in this case, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's like a four-year-old. Yeah, he's a little... He's like a child. Uh, he's a bit like a... He's like a big kid. He's like a... Um, it's like an odd toddler. Yeah, I guess. You feel like a toddler? Nah. If if w- if I would pay someone to come and wipe your ass for you, would you accept it? No. You would never have to wipe your ass again. I don't give a fuck. That's just weird. Okay. The French are as racist as Japanese, Marvin says. Everyone, dude, everyone is racist. Like you you have everywhere you go, especially if they haven't had contact with someone like the Japanese, they come off as, you know, everybody's like, oh, the Japanese are very racist. That's because who the fuck goes from, like, to Japan? There's not that many people unless they're big. You, you know what I mean? They don't see. They see some tourists. They don't have it in their culture, you know? If they, they don't have a lot of, like, people that look like me that are on their TV speaking Japanese so they can get used to it. To them, it's all fucking crazy. So when they see it, it's not like they're going to be me. It's more like, what the fuck is this alien doing it's here? It's as if an old lady from a village in Greece sees a black man for the first time. She's going to, like, freak out. Yeah, and Tom is right. There is a difference, even though the media now uh, tries to put it all together. There's a difference between racism and uh, nationalism, right? Uh, yeah. I think that if you're in charge of a country, you should be a nationalist. You should care about your nation. You should put your nation first before other nations, 100%. But it doesn't make you a racist. You know, it doesn't mean that if somebody's a nationalist and he wants to make sure that his country's prospering, that he's going to go and fuck over another country, you know? Example, you don't, you never hear Saudi Arabia being called a nationalist country. and You never hear it, but all they're doing is fucking... Bom- or a racist country, but they're just bombing the fuck out of Yemen. They're taking advantage of everyone around them, right? But what? Because we don't we don't call them like that. We just do you do you understand what I'm saying? Because yeah, they like, have power. That's why. No, it's not that. It's because people are fucking scared. People are scared to to talk shit about Saudi Arabia because they think because it's a different religion than the mainstream Western one, which is Christianity, right? They think because it's Islam, you can't talk about them because if you do, you're uh, Islamophobic or whatever. So there's certain there's, right now the way it is is there's protected classes. So there's certain people that are part of certain groups that you're not supposed to talk shit about. But, you know, I'm a free speech guy. It's either we were able to talk shit about everyone or, or no nobody. one. And I don't believe in the no one. I believe in the everyone. I believe in yeah. making fun of everyone equally. That's why what Mike did, but making fun of that fucking goblin that took him to court, I believe that was a okay. Fuck that kid. Yeah, fuck that kid. Well, he's not a kid. He's an adult. We keep calling him a kid. Oh, he's an adult? How old is he? Let's see here. French Canadians burn effigies of natives that would never happen in most racist areas of the U.S. I, I didn't even know about that shit. I don't know why they would burn effigies of uh, the natives. Uh, white people are pussies now. Yeah, but again, white people, you, you probably mean like the West, like North American white people. Like, uh, you know you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and he's kind of right about that. Yeah, they're more of uh, yeah, whatever group to put him in. Poseidon is the anti that probably. <laughs> what what you're the anti of a- any group we put you in you're the poster child of not being that <laughs> yeah, i'm an okay. outsider bro yeah that's what you're outsider about. life answer would be forwarded to ktc i don't know what ktc is i don't know what ktc is but uh <clears throat> it better be related to kfc but yeah point is guys the we had this discussion a while back uh on this uh channel too I remember like last week or two weeks ago yeah. about uh, race wars or something. It had turned into like uh, people were like, no, you can't trust Muslims or whatever. And I keep telling people, judge individually because you don't know. No, that was last week that we were talking about that. Last I week. I was talking about my neighbors as well. Yeah, yeah. Judge individually. That's that's how you, you win. You don't know. Because uh, somebody's white doesn't make him bad or good or homophobic or whatever the fuck you want. Uh, all that shit's arbitrary. It doesn't matter. It's Like I said, it's cultural. So if yeah. you grew up with good fucking parents, if you, you know, if I adopt a, find me like a... Find me like a family of like a hardcore Nazi rednecks or whatever. Like not, you know, they hate black. Give me that kid. I raised the kid, not them. That kid's gonna be a Greekster, right? Yeah. He's gonna have my culture. Yeah, that's true. It's like uh, one of one of my brother's close friends, my the youngest one. He he uh, he's Russian. He was adopted by two Greek parents, but the kid's a Greekster. How the? Because that's a kid. He's a, get, look at the Kubo. a Greekster. So it doesn't matter. Just judge individually. Give the kid a good culture. They'll be a good person. The problem is there's so much shit out there of every color, black, white, whatever the fuck you want. So much garbage. Garbage, garbage. Just people with shit, shit cultures in their homes. Shit fucking culturally, people intellectually, uh-huh. you know? Like, because I, I see it a lot online. Now it's like um, uh, they're, they're attacking a lot of white people just for being white. Uh, they're like, it's the same thing if you go the other way around. Like, why does it make it okay if you're, if you know, oh, I'm mad at this guy. He got a job here because he's white. He shouldn't get, that's still racist, you know? It's still fucking racist. So all that shit, that's a shitty culture. And that doesn't move things forward. That just 
carries it, on the hate for another generation. It regresses. Yeah, because if somebody, if you were pushed down for, you know, the last 50 years, right? And now that you're up and you're equal, instead of you being like, all right, we move forward together, now you're like, no, I'm going to fucking push them down. It Then that's all you're doing. You're just going to be doing this yeah. for years. And it just... Anyways. Anyways, it's a fucking comedian who's telling people how to... <coughs> How to fucking do things the right way. What comedian? Me. Oh. This comedian. This is definitely not you, sir. It's definitely me just telling people, uh, don't be dicks. That's it. So, Poseidon, See. where are they going to find you this week? Me. In jail. What? Why? In jail. What did I do? So, here's what's going to happen. Uh, we got two drink minimum coming out this week. We got a shot coming out. Uh, and then we have an episode on Friday. I get back uh, Thursday night from New York. Uh, I'm going to be on the Anthony Cumia show Wednesday at 4 p.m., and I'll be on In Hot Water Thursday morning at uh, 9 a.m., I believe. Uh, early early birds, the uh, the In Hot Water crew. So if you're not awake by that time or if you're at work, you can just catch the replay later. It's on demand. And I think that's it. I think that's all I got. Yeah, that's it. And we're probably going to have an episode of um, uh, this just thing on this channel this week, too. I think we might record one tomorrow just to have it in the bank. And release it later this week. Or maybe we'll release it Tuesday when I fly out. So, yeah, you'll have content. Poseidon, any closing statements? Fuck did bitches get money. Did you just ask Poseidon for his opinion on race relations over the last 50 years? Yeah, look, I make mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fast two hours. Yeah, man, it fucking... Yeah, it flew by, And we bro. started a little bit early, like a couple yeah. of minutes. Yeah, it, uh, it fucking flew by, which is good. It means everyone's having fun. Yeah, what a I good conversation. Fun. Yeah, it was the fast two hours. I'm liking the, the live streams. We're having a good time. Um, and next week, we're going to come hopefully prepared with some more shit. Uh, I want to do More stories. A, yeah, I want to have more um, videos on screen. But today, at least the test worked with the second camera. So we're getting there. As you see every episode, we're upgrading a little bit. The Poseidon's very excited about that second camera. Uh, then I got to get this one to work to show Poseidon, too. So we'll figure this out. So thanks for the free funny, as always. Yeah, uh, this shit. That's why I tell people to subscribe to the goddamn YouTube channel because it's uh, it's fucking easy. It's free shit. You uh, now I think I'm close to like a hundred videos on this channel, so you have content. Oh wow! Yeah, it, between the podcast, this just Man, thing, and this, that's a lot of videos. It's a lot of videos, and there's a lot of work that goes into this just thing. Like yeah. Phil, um, Phil is the one who has to edit and do all that shit. So all that, and I'm and you know I gotta wake up to record those. So, <laughs> so there's a no, but there's a lot of work that goes into that stuff. So if you guys enjoy it, share that shit. Um, we made a mistake when we first started the channel where we talked shit about Rose O'Donnell and some other uh, people so then we got that shadow ban going so it was hard for us to grow it so now it's good with uh, word of mouth you just subscribe share with your friends let them grow it yeah. and that's all we give a fuck about anyway so um, especially since a lot of people tell me you know they, they can't subscribe to Compound you know they can't pay the monthly or whatever uh, some free content it was one of the reasons why Mike wanted to start doing the shots um, to just get some free stuff out there and I think Jason also in, is going to include some shots. Like, I think they did something on Twitch for Mike's French podcast. And right before, they showed a shot or something. So, they're we're, we're producing a lot of free content, too. And, yeah, follow on the uh, social media. We'll let you know what we're up to. And every Sunday, 4 p.m., unless, uh, you know, something happens, we're going to be here. We'll fuck around. And if you guys want, I'll share the Discord again. Go in the Discord. Uh, you could share stuff in there if you want me to talk about it or at least get educated on it before the next show. And then we'll shoot the shit here on Sundays. And 4 p.m., 4 to 6 Sundays, that's our time. That's when we get to fuck around. Poseidon, anything to close with? I love you all. All right, yeah, just be weird.